hey guys this is archie luxury and uh i just want to say to all the jerks out there on a certain watch forum you know it really hurts you don't support the pontiff you stab the pontiff in the back you use the pontiff to get you used the pontiff to get some people to come into your your group and when the pontiff needs a bit of help you're only too quick to give him the ass and uh i gotta tell you there a lot of ego a lot of ego in these nasty forums there's a lot of ego there and uh i spoke to my good friend michael ferguson i've asked him to try and stir up the troops and get a campaign going for archie to come back onto this certain forum a certain australian watch forum so fuckers Tell me what you think. Hello, Clivers, you're back. <laughs> oh, that was fun. My God, that was fun. That was fun. Oh, I have to go. I, I need to switch to the, the. Did you get the terms of the. Okay, Max. Seriously, dude, live streaming right now. All right, sorry about that, guys. All right. Um, Jesus, I'm sorry. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you give the middle-aged administrative access and you don't tell them shit about how to use it. It's actually kind of... I'm actually... Having... All right, all right. Um, oh, uh, we're already getting super chats. Hold on. $10. Archie, you claim that you were one way you're going to engrave that you're going to engrave going to engrave to stop me reselling on the back of your watches. Is that more likely to happen, or are you getting a, it's got to hurt tramp stamp? I got to get a it's got to hurt tramp stamp. That's the way I'd go. Go and get it. I actually at one stage was going to get a Patek logo put on my ass. Okay. By the way, whilst I'm talking to you, Clivers, I'm making a special present for your our good friend, the Maxter. Oh, nice. I am customizing a river rat. Nice. I'm going to do it on air whilst you're doing your show. Oh, well, oh wait, wait, wait. My uh, horological tools. Um, Turbo B1. Fucking hell. Okay, you cucks. I donated a, 50, a total of 50 bucks. So that means no Don Haynes for 50 minutes. Also, you didn't read my last two super chats. Look, Turbo, I'm sorry. Clyde was busy. So other people were supposed to pick up the slack, but I guess they didn't. Okay, Turbo, tell us what the tell me real quick what the other two super chats are. Fuck. Okay, uh, W2. He's got enough. He's got a W2. Maybe we should. Okay. Uh, W204, C63, or C7 Audi S6 to take to the races tonight. Take so we can't the, let, I love the W204. My old man's got one. W204 okay, so is a cool looking thing. It's a very. So he's, donated, so he's donated 50 bucks to keep Don off, and that's a dollar a minute. You know, actually, when you think about it, that's actually a viable fucking business model. Yes. Yes, it's. Um, uh, Means we can't let Don on. Okay. Um, let me. Um, someone super chatted. Okay. Archie, are the online service companies okay, or do I need to go to Rolex directly? They're they're about half the price. I need a good polish on my date just too. I'd be going to Kenny Nguyen, Jewelers on Time. He's a good guy to do business with. That's where I'd be going. Nice. Now, guys, if you're tired of me, you could also super chat um, $50, and I will have to get off for the rest of the night. So super chat $50, and Clyde will get off for the rest of the night. Get off the live stream. That was fun. Oh, my God. <laughs> That was really fun.
<laughs> I, don't, I don't know if the audience was having a ball. Well, Mark Goldberg was having a ball, but... Where's he gone? Yes. He seems to have disappeared. I think he's having dinner. Is it Mark Goldberg? Yes. Uh, sorry about that, guys. I've just taken... I had to use my wristwatch tools to get into this watch. This is the river, the river rat. Sorry, you keep talking, Clive. You can fire away. I'm just doing a little bit of... Now, Don Haynes is sending a chat saying... Fuck them, take the money and let fuck them, take the money and let me on. Archie, should we uh, let him on or not? Or should Don we Haynes. Trace it? Yes. But hey, I have to warn you. It's your show, oh. Clivers. I'm just No, the... actually someone super chatted fifty dollars to keep him off for fifty minutes. It's up to you. It's your call. <sighs> You're the one that would have to give the money back. So Ooh, what do you think? We don't give money back, Clive. Come on, man. Okay. Come on, man. Archie. Don't... Would you There's consider the Amiga Seamaster quartz that Papa P P P P Papa Puda used to own the gold-plated one a shitter, or would you prefer an Oris Moonface? Sorry, say that again. Would you consider the Amiga Seamaster quartz that your dad used to own the gold-plated yep. one a yep. shitter? Okay. Actually, let me Turn tell you a story. Can I tell you a story? When he bought that let's, watch, let's 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 get this other. Let's get this twenty-dollar super chat first. Also, guys, if you want the pain of to eat or drink, you also need to send super super chat, separate super chats for that. So if you want Archie to try to fix or repair Young Mash's watch under the end. I'm doing it. I'm doing it now, making the birthday present. But if you want if you want the pontiff to try to fix Max's wa Max's watch while under the influence, please super chat generously. Archie, I know you asked before how the W204 is for reliability. My C63 has 80,000 miles on it now. Bought it with 40,000 miles five years ago. Fire. Fire. To, be on it, to be on it. I only had a thermostat, a blower motor, and the horns go out. So me about having the horns go out, when do you have the appointment with the doctor? Uh, I'm going to make that next week. Shit, I've just lost the movement, Clive. Sorry. All right. No, oh, my God. Another $20. So, uh, 90 minutes, no Don Haynes. Don't make me file a charge back. So. Huh. That's, uh, I found it. Sorry. Okay. I don't know if this will be usable. Is that okay if it doesn't work or what, Clive? <coughs> I don't know. Hey, uh, you know, actually, maybe... Maybe when we get done broadcasting, we when we kill the cut the live spread feed, we could bring uh, Max on if you'd like. So you've been paid ninety dollars today just to not have Don Haynes on. Yes, I'm doing a custom dial at the moment. You know, enamel dials. Right. So, what do you think about the Zenith Surf? By the way. It's gorgeous. That's quite gorgeous. I like the bracelet. Very Vacheron bracelet. Fuck, man. Yes. It's yes. Cool. Yes. I love this thing. And, and look where the crown is. The crown is kind of stuck in between four and at 4.5. Mm -hmm. It's almost hit. It's recessed. It's almost hidden. Mm. And I actually, th I, I, God, I love this thing. Cool. And guess what? It is a period authentic. It's the authentic Zenith bracelet that came with the watch. Don't you love this thing? I, w I was kind of thinking, well, it makes me think of the 1530, actually. Yes. Okay, you don't want to know how much I got for it? I got it for? How much? How much did you get for it? Serviced, 700 bucks. Okay, seven hundred bucks. Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, volume, Clive. Yeah, okay. and, and and I I am delighted to wear this. I mean, I, I have to admit, I'm like we're around. I mean, just running around and got it today. I'm like, uh, huh? Yeah. I mean, I, cool think got, watch, I think I've got. I think it's my daily watch. 
it's, 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 okay. Uh, okay. Max is cool. Twenty dollars to drink scotch. So Matt Turbo sent you twenty dollars to drink scotch while trying to fix the watch. Fuck. Okay. Um, Turbo thinks he'll drink. Gentlemen, I know I own a one one six five two zero, a one one six one zero LV, and a one six five seven zero black dial. Which Patek would best complement my small collection? A rose gold fifty one forty six, a stainless. 5726A001, or even a 5980. It has to be worn casually. Oh, come on. That's not a fucking fair question. How do you mean it has to be worn casually? You can wear a 5146 casually. That's an annual calendar, a chronograph, um, mm -hmm. a chronograph, uh, paddock, you know, I'd the say, Nautilus paddock yeah, chronograph. I'd say, I'd say the stainless 5726. Now, 5726. Uh, this watch could be very valuable. The last one I had, I sold for $1,000 of the River Rat. Mm -hmm. You know who bought that? No. Bear Clooney. Oh, that's right. Yes. Bear Clooney bought it. Um, I, I reckon personally... But I reckon the best look they're fucking how much money does this guy ha have because max you mean the 13 year old no no the guy buying these paddocks because i personally a 5980 is like fucking it's a lot of money clive it's out of my budget well i think if you're gonna wear it casually stainless steel no matter what the complication it might have a bit of a crown problem. Is that a problem or not? This birthday gift. No. Does that matter? No, I don't think so. Can I use Tanzil, glue? Sorry. Can I what? use glue to fix it? Sure. Yes. Archie, is there ever a good reason to wear a fake? Does you qualify to open a watch sales website and work for Philly AD sister company as a rather large unintended YouTube bureau? He did not name names. No. He did not name channels. No, it's pretty. I, I've actually do have a. I do have a, a line coming up very soon. I've got a line of watches, which I'm going to be releasing very soon. I'm not going to be beaten by the competition. If you can't beat them, join them. Um, Clive, I want to present something to you. I've got a line of wrist quality wrist watches. They're being finished in Shenzhen at the moment. Um, I got a line of. Quality sports watches. It's a niche in is the market. The, is, it, is it the Archie Luxury Arctic Discoverer? Here we go. Here's a special watch for Max. Wait, why did you put a penis on it? That's not a penis. That's a penis. That is totally a penis. How did you? My God. How do you? That is totally. Okay, hold it back up, guys. Okay. It's All not. All right, guys. It's not. It, 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 it's, it, it's a rabbit. The two rabbits there. It looks like a black the bat, okay. The Batman. Oh. The Batman's a oh. white one and a black bat. The bats. Okay. The bats. Okay, guys, hold it the up. Bats. At, at, at four o'clock and eight o'clock. Type the one bats. if you think they look like penises. Type one if you think they look like penises. <laughs> Type two if you think they look they don't. They look they're oh. bats. It's a Batman. You understand? It's a one, bat Batman. That looks like two penises, a black and white penis. Looks like So this is the <clears throat> you're thinking of I'm thinking of next week, aren't you? That's not no. going to come until way after next week. So I'm going to oh post that. Can I please? Can you please send me an address, and I will post that to you. Yes, I will. Uh, okay, twenty dollars, Archie from Turbo. Uh, drink two scotches. Oh shit! Fuck me, Dad. I have had a bitch, an absolute fucking. I don't need to have so, so many invites. Can this two was scotches. Actually, this 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 scotch was given to me by someone who's not my friend anymore. Okay, hold on for one second. Do do do. I don't know why these glasses get cruddy. If you um, don't wash glasses, I would, I, I would seriously think about one scotch. Okay. Yes. Uh, hold on. I'd, I'd seriously take a second look at that. At that, I, I sent you Max's address. Um, I, I okay. I, I, I drink two scotches. Um, Special edition. This is a Max. It's called 
the Max Archie River Rats. So it's a tribute. This is a nod to a nod to the original River Rat. It's a nod to history. Okay, Tanzone, sorry, fuck the rat man. Um, Archie, is there ever a good reason to wear a fake? Is there a good re okay? Uh, Max is cool. Twenty dollars to drink a scotch. Ninety dollars now. I got to be honest with you. Is there ever a good reason to wear a fake? Have you worn a fake ever in your life, Clive? Uh, one time, yes, but I don't. I haven't. Yeah. I got to be honest wanna, with you. I didn't feel. I felt dirty inside. It's like watching TGV. I mean, another watch channel content. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I mean, guys, I, I think that maybe it's just me, but that totally looks like two cocks on there. But it does all right. not. All they're right. Bats. They're bats. He's, he's a, they're bats. Right. You understand? We'll see. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, does Clyde own an Apple Watch? Yeah, I do. Ha yeah, you've caught me. Sometimes I double fist it. Apple Watch has a heart monitor. Also, if I get super chats from Don Haynes, not super chats, text messages from Don Haynes. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> it could only be worse if you put them on the 6th and the ninth. All right. I'll send it off. I'm just trying to find my envelopes. I had envelopes here. Fuck. Aren't, uh... Where the fuck did they go? Okay. Okay. Keep talking. <coughs> Keep talking. So, anyway, yeah. So, you know, I have to, you know, like I have to admit, this, the little Zenith, the, the surf with the integrated bracelet... Yeah, I've had, really I'm just finishing my one scotch. I'll be having another one in a minute. Okay. I've been. What's your fiction, Ando? What? Okay. Three. Oh, my God. Three scotches. Someone get this man a beef and reef. So, uh, Turbo sent you another $20 for more alcohol. Mm. On Amazon, AC3's book is selling for $300. <laughs> <laughs> Clive, can I ask you something? This is just between you and me, okay? We're friends, okay? And the 15 people watching now, yes. I, I got a book I wrote, okay, on watches, right? But I can't be bothered proofreading it. Can I just press publish? Can I just press publish? <laughs> <laughs> Mistakes. Yeah, actually, actually, yeah, because I think people would expect that. <laughs> would you mind? Because I really can't be fucked proofreading, okay? It's boring and slow. Okay, it's boring and slow. I had an Indian translation firm which was to typing up some of my videos into text. Right. There's a few little mistakes they made. Is that okay? Is that acceptable or not? Uh yeah, because if they if they get the book, that means they know you and they're fans of the channel and they will want some, they'll have something to laugh and fist you over. I must admit, some of those reviews I've received on Amazon haven't been very complimentary. <laughs> they haven't been very complimentary, have they? Hey, eh? you mean they were accurate? <laughs> they were entirely accurate. I must admit, I did yes, slop. Yes, yes. I did slop those books together. I've actually had serious people who've asked me about my books I wrote, and I thought, oh fuck, these were slopped together. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, let's be honest. I, I, I'm amazed you've read books. That's for much his less birthday. That's for his birthday. You know that. That's for Max's yes. birthday. I think that's nice. Free. I'll send it to yes. you, Clive. You tell me. Oh, you send me the address, and I'll send it to him. I sent you the address. And, and Bear Check Clooney paid a thousand dollars for his river rat. Remember that. Right. Well, and on the other on the other hand, Max is also a massive fan of the channel. And also, he will show everyone else, uh, you know, oh, basically, basically the people at Houdinki know you. What? You were joking. Say that again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I can't believe this. What? After he went on the channel, his yeah. friends at Houdinki said, so. 
Yeah. So, said, send, if so you've been on the Archie Luxury Channel. Yeah, and the only way they could know that is if, if they, they watched. They, it. Mike, you are joking, aren't you or not? No, no, no. Actually, you got I his can't phone believe number. That. Call, you got the phone number. Call him. He doesn't mind. I mean, he's actually wanting wanting your phone number. I thought, well, I, you know, who's that? Of I was driving Max. Oh, you can give him my phone number. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. Max well, is super on. cool. Oh, he is. All right. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I like okay. Max. Max is a great kid. Oh, Max yeah, he is kid. just absolutely, yes. He's a type of type of kid I wish I had as a son. Not, not to put right. my sons down, but Max, I, yeah. wish, I wish one of my sons was into the hobby because they're not, okay? Right. Oh, my. So, okay. Anyway, and join the hell out of my Zeta Surf. Okay, that's one scotch. That's one scotch. Now I've got to have one. two more. You said two more. Is that right? Yeah. Two yeah. more. Two more. We've got to give value. We can't cheat, okay? Right. Here we go. Scotch. Might have those stupid cubes. Let me put those stupid cubes in. Uh, okay. Turbo. Okay. Now he's asking, should you should he have you drink more or get, get you a pizza instead? Oh wow. Let me check that. I'll come back to you very soon. I'll come back very soon. Clivers, I got to tell you this, Clivers. You know, I'll tell you the truth. There are some good friends and there's bad friends. Why do some friends just desert me? Can I ask you that? Fuck, you're smoking. Put that out. You're supposed oh, to be fuck. vaping. You're supposed to be vaping only. What the fuck are you doing, Clive? Sometimes you got to have a real one, especially. You, yeah. you really find that? You've got to have a real one? Sometimes, yes. Do they feel that good? Smoking, does it taste that amazing or not? Well, look, I've, th I've thought about this. Yeah. And, you know, Suckerhorn smokes like a like a, like a a garbage fire, and he, he's like 100 or something. So, really, how bad can they be? The logic. My logic is unassailable. Yeah. Yeah, but... Clive, just how many are you smoking a day? Tell me that. Oh, I just bought a pack. I just, yeah, it's been a little bit of a stressful day. So, what brand of pack? Have... What do you smoke? What do you smoke? Marlboro Blacks. Marlboro Blacks? How many grams, milligrams is that? What the hell's a milligram? Like they're normally 10 milligram, 12 milligram? Uh, it's some sort of milligram, I think. Anyway, Clivers, tell me this. Talk to me. Clivers, you had some real personal problems before. You said that you wanted to get out of the hobby. What's going on? No, no, just to slow down a little bit. Just to slow down. He's in Florida. Max is in Florida. Yeah. Okay. That's so cool. I love Florida. I'm thinking about going there one day. Yeah. It's, yeah. Cool. Cool. Cool dude, cool family. Um, By the way, if anyone else wants a river rat, I make them for a thousand dollars each. Okay. Nice. I'm not going to discount them. They're quality Swiss workmanship. A lot of effort goes into them. Even even if after I've customized them, they don't work quite quite the same. <laughs> right, because it's it's the uh, it's the effort, not the result. Yeah, they're, they're kind of an art. They're kind of a contemporary product. On, on I must say, on the first river rat I made, because, I had I had to smash the glass to paint the dial. To paint the dial, this one I've actually pulled it apart, and, and the glass is still intact. Do you understand? Which is even more of a pre. That's the Archie Luxury Momento Rat Premium Edition. Exactly. The Premium Edition with the intact glass would cost more, doesn't it? Wouldn't it? Well, I, you know, I, I, it, it took a lot of skill to pull the bastard apart. Right. Clivers, I want to tell you this. In all honesty, there, um, 
it's funny when you run into trouble in life a lot of people run away from you do you find that or not uh or or a lot of times or people in trouble or i run away from people sometimes i just have to hunker down and just um go in seclusion and just you know sometimes just freak the hell out and then face my problems and uh in the dark or face the problems by myself and then step back out archie how much for you to send an autographed luxury to last book to the original mouse of lords in new york city um that's a good that's good i'd need at least a hundred bucks to do that because i'd have to order the fucking stinking book <laughs> And well, yeah, no, I could do hundred bucks. Book is, the, book, the books, the book is three hundred bucks, isn't it? <laughs> I, I think I've got one on the shelf. I've got the original one here. I'll send him that. Okay, I can do it. Hundred. You send me a hundred dollars, I'll do it. Okay, hundred dollars. And if you can send me the address to send it to, I'll send it anywhere. Twenty dollars. Four scotches, Archibald. Someone get this man a KFC big bucket. Have another scotch. What's going on with you, Clive? Tell me what's happening with you. Well, they're looking for the 321. They don't know if they found it yet. Oh, fuck. What's going yeah. on? How much How much you got to pay for it? Don't even know yet. Don't even know. But if they don't find the watch, it's kind of irrelevant. Have you, how hard are they looking? They're looking pretty hard. They're, you know, that this guy had a bunch of stuff. Um, He's a hoarder, was he? A little bit, yeah. There was you, you. You want to talk about you? You want to talk about unequal knowledge in a transaction? Mm -hmm. Because I've noticed a lot of times, well, there's a transaction going on. Besides, it's not just an exchange of money for goods or services. Yes. There's also yes. differing levels of knowledge. Very much has to, comes into play. So you know, sometimes it, that's why I mean, people say, "Well, you you always do Rolex, Clyde. You always do Rolex." I kind of halfway know Rolex. I you know, I'm not an expert, but I'm, I'm at least familiar with. I'm, not, I'm familiar even I with fucked it. it up. Even I fucked it up with the railroad today. Did you see that? What's a railroad dial explorer? I didn't fucking know. I was stumped. I didn't know, Clive. I thought the railroad referred to a um, a sea dweller. Like well, yeah, railroad dial. You know. Yeah. And that's and those sons, those sons of bitches are some big money there. It's just isn't it funny? Just a minor variation. However, they said you should always get a cream dial. You should always you should you should not do that with a one six five seven zero because unscrupulous. Sometimes they'll pit the dials from the one six five five zero whatever, take it, doctor them up, and then stick them on the one six five seven zero. So always stick with the older the cream the cream dial. Uh, Cream dial. Uh, They're very models. valuable. They're very valuable. Any any cream dial is very valuable. But the cream dial with the rail, I mean, with the rail uh, rail dial is. What well, you know? It's kind of funny though. It's the um, the one four two seven zero, the thirty six millimeter uh, Explorer one. Mm -hmm. You've heard of the blackout or not? Yes, 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 yes. It's not just yeah. So on that one, if they only made it for a very short amount of time. But I think that was the of, first year only. That was the first year only, I think. That was the 14270. Yeah, 14270, tritium. But instead, the but the numbers, the 3, 6, and the 9, instead of fitting white paint, it was black paint. Mm. So there, it's called the blackout because it was just so, so few of them made. It's, it makes it look different from all the other ones. Those sons of bitches go for some serious money. It's just, you know... You got the rare bird, but you must be happy about that. I've got two rare birds. Are you happy? Yeah, actually, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm even. I'm really. Do you mind really if I just... say? Can I? Can I say something negative to you or not? Go ahead. You know that painting that's behind you with that lady at, at the pool there. Yeah. Couldn't he have at least made her breast just a little bit bigger? Ah, uh, yeah. But it wasn't a custom painting, so yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Couldn't they just be a little bit bigger, just tweak a little bit? What do you reckon? Another size up and we'd be... Yeah, or, or normal... Home and host. 
or or a little bit or a little yeah or a little nipply or something like that yeah yeah you know you know what i'm saying don't because she doesn't yeah. look young she looks like she's in her 30s right that's young to me that looks pretty young i can tell by the chin and her Re nose she's not she's not 15 she's oh. like 35. oh okay Tanzil and Sari, $5 super chat. Archie, what has more patina? Mark Goldberg's face or most no name shitters that Clive chases in the Clio and Ferris vintage watch shop? Okay, uh, let me, let me... I'd have to be the vintage watch shop with Clive's. Okay, Clive's. but okay. Okay, let's. Okay, by the way, by the way, Tanzil, 100 bucks. 100 bucks. There you go. Um, And actually, Max, I know someone that could probably get you the TGV's address as well. It's on his website. It's it's on his okay. YouTube channel. He, he promotes his address. There's no secrets okay. there. Archie, would you allow me to sell my one six zero one three to find the restoration? Would you allow me to sell my one six zero one three? One six. Oh. Sorry, just say it again. I'm drinking three scotches. One six. Just give me the number again. I got to write this down. One six. One six zero one three. One six. Zero one three. Okay, two tone date just yellow gold. To, yeah. To to fund the restoration of my seventy nine Trans Am or not? Give him the deets, Clyde Clive. So Trans yeah. Am is cool. You know that. Yeah, he's, he's got this. He's got the seventy nine. Looks like it's white. No t tops, which is actually kind of good. So yeah. So would it be all right for him to sell his date just? Oh, but the only problem is once you fix the car, you need the big date just hanging out the window, man. You need the uh, yeah. date just. Now, I that said, I, I had the 78. In the 78, it was completely different because the um, – the end. <sighs> wait, wait a minute. Let me let me show you. Who gave you the seventy eight? Can I ask you this? Mom and Dad did, of course. You said they didn't like you. How could you say that when they gave you a fucking Trans Am? Well, it was an eight year old Trans Am, but hold on. That's still fucking cool in my book. No one fucking gave me. Uh. This is what mine looked like. Smokey and the Bandit style? Yep. And you'll you, notice... You had a gold one? Yeah, I had a gold one. That's exactly... Oh, except, fuckers! Except fuckers! Fuckers! Can I have another scotch? How many scotches do I need to drink? Cheers, uh, you lousy sons of bitches! I'll have a, a turbo, $10. Have a beer also, Archie. Oh, should I drink a beer or a scotch now? Um, One more scotch than a beer. Okay. Now let's also now let's look at the 1979 Trans Am. Now, but okay, let's go back. Can you see my cursor? You know, notice the inset. The the they're all inset that like that in it that comes out. That's almost like a beak in my the opinion. The decal, the decal. What's the decos on this one here? Fuck, that's a beautiful. You had the you had the sticker on the hood there, didn't you? Oh yeah, girl wrecked it. How did she like wreck it? Oh God! Don't get me started. Don't get me started. She was an idiot. I was a it, bigger idiot what for letting you, her drive. Why did you let her drive? Because I wanted light. Did it work? No. What? Not after the wreck. What? Not after the wreck. Now let's go. Let's go to a seventy nine. How fast was she driving? What the hell are you do? You got on open road, Clyde. What the fuck were you doing? This is a country. Now here's a seventy nine. Now his his is actually kind of his is white. Um, let's find a white one. You know who's got a cool car? Who's? You know Der Stiefel? Yeah. He's got What's a C6, C6 C six Corvette. Nice. Archie, if you had to choose one to wear to chase lady boys and bangers, TGV Squale or Pedrico's Eterna Contiki? I'd rather have no watch than that garbage. All right. Now I this is no, probably, I would just pawn it to get an extra hour. That's all I would do. Now this is kind of this is kind of close to what Tyler's got working on. Okay, <sighs> white with blue decals. Yeah. T okay, Tyler. Yeah. Thank you. It's um, a different front to yours. Yours had a different front. 
Right, but I like the 78 better. I, I like do, I do. I, I think the 79's gone a little bit crazy with that bumper there, the integrated bumper. Right. What, did, what did the Rockford Files, Jim, would Jim have on the Rockford Files? <clears throat> there, there it is pulling up automatically. I love Jim Rockford. He's such a cool guy. Jim Garner, well, he, oh, he had a Firebird. He didn't have a Trans Am. Ah. Care to guess where Jim Rock? I mean, care to guess the actor? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. He's from yeah. Oklahoma. Norman, Oklahoma. He was. So he had, he had a. I like he, him. He, yeah, he was actually really approachable. Did you meet him ever? Well, uh, he used to be my next door neighbor. What? No, totally not. Never met him. Okay. He was in Hollywood long before I came along. Sierra you Gold know, he Firebird. also disliked his mother. Did you know that? Um, there's a, they, okay. They have a they have a word for people that have issues with their mothers. Actually, he disliked his stepmother. Sorry, I must be honest with you. His stepmother was very nasty to him. Well, you know, actually, uh, mom mom did the best she could with what she had. I've come to realize that. You've turned out to be a good human being, Clive. I love you to death. You know that? Well, thanks. I appreciate that. You're a good guy. You've got a good heart. Barney Rubble exterior, good heart inside. What more could you want? No, nah, lose another 50, 60 pounds, maybe a Daytona. That doesn't really matter. Losing the weight, Clive, I still don't want to fuck you. Okay, thank you. But I still want to lose the weight. See, I, that's why I'm, I'm not rebooting the weight loss program because if I go inside, I'd rather be a fat pig instead of handsome and attractive, don't you think? Well, yeah. If, maybe they'll maybe they'll make you wear a bear suit like the shiny. Exactly. Archie, have you ever worn fakes? And would you recommend any large Puerto Rican watch dealers that may be selling watches to buy a watch over Kenny Went New Yen? Ah, fakes. Jesus. You know, I've, uh, I don't think I ever really did. I, I had the 1016. When I turned 18, I bought a 1016. Okay, I'll tell you what happened, okay? Can I tell you a story? Do you want to hear a story? This is a real personal story, Clive. Do you want to hear this? Tell us a real personal story. Okay, when I was 18, I turned 18 and I applied for an American Express card. Oh, uh, thoughts on the AP Royal Oak 15400 rose gold with the leather strap. Fucking sexy. Fucking sexy. Okay, Fucking $30. Sexy. $30 super chat. Two beers and five scotches, Archie. You've only had one scotch, so drink up. This is the second. <clears throat> Actually, this is, so. the third. this is the third scotch. Clive, I want to tell you a story. Can I, get, can I tell you this deep and meaningful story quickly? You have to keep drinking, but yes. Okay. I, I, I was turned 18. I applied for American Express card. You know the green Amex? I got a green Amex, okay? Right. And I was so green, I went out and bought a Rolex. I said to my jeweler friend, get me a Rolex, get me a Rolex. I was so green. You know something? What's that? I didn't realize you had to pay the fucking card off every month. <laughs> I had no idea that you couldn't just. You thought it was like a credit card. You yeah, just I'm like, what the fuck the point of this stupid thing? I really missed that watch. I was so, that watch. I was such an idiot to sell it. I was this fucking dickhead, Clive. I was a fucking moron to sell it. I'm sure Max is going to do the same thing with the river rat. I'm gifting him. He's going to fucking sell it. I can see it. He's going to take the thousand dollars and run. He's going to sell it. I can see it. He's not going to appreciate it for the art that it is. No, because that's why you and you. That's why you gave it the. Uh... This is the That's Max like edition. It. This is the second River Rat in the series. Right. With glass Ar intact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Archie, tell Clive how much your friends made fun of you for the 1016 and its plastic crystal. Oh, my God. I remember one of my friends said to me, you got a Rolex that poor 
that's not a real Rolex. It's a Clayton Rolex. It's a Rolex you get when you can't afford a real one because it's got the triangle at 12. Ooh. Instead, thought, of, instead of the crown. Yeah, he thought the cool one was like a date just. Can you believe that or not? Um, yeah, well, there's all sorts of ignorant opinions on the internet. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one, you know? Yeah. Now, you know who actually, you know, a couple of people that wear the 142. You know, one good thing is if I go inside, I can get my dental work done for free. Did you know that? Right. Yes. And you'll dental have free work? prostate. You'll have free prostate examinations. Mm, that could be good. On a, night, on a nightly basis. Oh. It won't be my, it won't be my medical professionals, but it will, it will be checked. It will definitely be checked. How can I go from drinking this quality booze to moonshine? How fast do you reckon I will go down to drink moon? This uh, two dollars super chat. Arch favorite movie where a watch is famously worn. Bad teacher. The GLC. Mm, you like that movie? It's not bad. Yeah, That's I love. Kirk, what's her name? What's the girl's name? Kirk I always Cameron had. A, I always had the hots for her. She's beautiful. I think she's got beautiful breasts. You know who has really gorgeous boobies? Who's that? Garbage Fire. I think you still secretly love Garbage Fire, even though you could never go there. I think you have issues here, Clive, because you brought this up. It's not, it's not going there. It's coming there is what I'm concerned about. Yeah, anyway. Maybe you should marry Garbage Fire and live mm. happily ever after in the ranch together. There wouldn't be any happily ever after. There wouldn't be. What's so big or hard about having a big dog live in your your house together with you? Well, a house with a yard wouldn't be that bad, actually. But, you know, she was living in a goddamn tiny little condo. And like, When's she oh, moving into no, the no. house? Today, actually. The dog will be happy, won't he? <laughs> Sorry? Great dog. Great dog. I love the dog. Do you love the garbage fire, bud? Well, I, I mean, yeah, well, I like, yeah, I like, and I also love, really love the dog. Oh well. I was dumb. Hand, I was attractive. I was thin. I had a, I had a bad ego, but John, Clive, I was yeah, egotistical. Well, I thought myself. I had an ego like a certain rodent. I had an ego worse than a certain rodent. You know that when I was young. I thought my shit chat. didn't stink. Five dollars super chat. Archie, your opinion on my decision to go with the one six five seven zero black as fuck dial in a compact daily rotation of Pam zero zero five JLC nine seventy six and the one six five seven zero over a two one four two seven zero. Nothing wrong with that. Classic, vintage. The sixteen five seventy is a, is a fucking classic. A black dial. I, I actually love the black dial Explorer too. I got to be honest with you. If I had my, I'll tell you something that I never told anyone before. If I had my choice, I'd actually take the black over the white. You know, actually, the one I've got now. The black is fucking cool. I've owned a few black dial sixteen five seven zeros. You know what, two fuckers? I'll tell you this now. Let me tell you this now. If I had my choice, I would have fucking taken a black one. But you know why I didn't? Why one is cheaper? That's right. You know, actually, the one I've got now. I'm wearing I, this I, to court, Clive. Your verso, yes. What do you think? Good idea or not? I think so. Or maybe borrow the sun's Tiso back. When you're really down on your luck, Clive, you learn who really supports you and who doesn't. You know that? Well, paying you $500 to cut the horns off. Is I that asked my old man to come. He doesn't want to come. He said it's embarrassing. Well, that's, I hate to say it, that's, that is the old, old school way of doing it. I mean, I, you know, I hate to say this, but, you know, when there's court appearances and like kid, pe people bring their kids, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? It's just oh, like I was sitting there, sitting there at cancel table, and they're like, they'll bring a small kid, and it's like, well, here comes, here comes mother of the year right here. No, 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 my, my kid is twenty five. Yeah, but no, but when they bring in small children, 
Archie, save this five dollar super chat. Archie, save that for the record. Fuckers, the Explorer Two Polar is out. It's time to get with the black dial. I've owned a few, and once you go back black, you never go back. So say that. Fuckers, fuckers, fuckers. The sixteen five seventy. You're better off to get the black dial. I've owned a few, and the black is back. Once you fuckers go black, there's no going back. Black fuckers, black. I gotta have a beer after this, don't I? Yeah, you do. And of course, my it. only my only response to that. White dial privilege. Oh, white dial explorer too. You got a white dial, Clivey. When did you get this? Last week I showed you showed it to you. How many? Okay, you've been drinking. Never mind. Yeah, but okay, but here's what I like about. Did mine. you see my EDC? Did you see my EDC? You know what I left out? I fucking made that video on my EDC yesterday. You know what I left out? What? Oh, Patina! 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 Clive, I want to tell you, you know what I left out of my EDC? Though. I just remembered. You know what I left out? What's that? Duct tape. Duct tape. Oh, okay. I didn't go anywhere uh, without a roll of duct tape in No, 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 no. Tur okay, Turbo is sitting as he he Turbo thinks that you owe two beers and three more scotches. Cheers, fuckers. You know that vomiting thing that I owe the punters to? We could be doing that soon, actually, Clivers. Uh, and by we, we mean you. Yes. Hey, do me a do me a favor. I'm gonna grab something to drink, non-alcoholic myself. Would you mind keeping an eye? Please keep an eye on the super chats. Hey guys. Oh, I'm using IE, Clive. It doesn't start. I haven't got that window open. All right, give me a second. Just guys. I'll, I'll be on. back. Just let me oh right. hang in there. Give me give me two minutes. Drink your drink your alcohol. Hey guys, it's Archibald Chesterfield the third there. And uh, I want to thank you all for watching in today. Turbo. Two beers and three more scotches. No worries. I'm drinking up, big boy. Duct tape and electrical tape, big boy. Very so useful to have electrical. You betcha. I love the electrical tape. Did you see my video on my EDC? What did you fuckers think of the EDC? EDC. I tell you this now. I love my EDC. What do you EDC fuckers out there do? You like my EDC? I love EDC. EDC fuckers. EDC. And uh, I'm having a few beers because I may not be having any more for a while. I may be drinking prison brew. I've been watching the after prison show. The after prison show. That could be a new area that I could go into. The after. Archery Luxury After Prison Show. And uh, I'm going to be seeing a skin doctor next week. We'll cut those fuckers off. And I tell you this now, fuckers. I love you to death. I'm scared as shit. I'm scared of going inside. I'm scared of everything. I really need a bit of support right now. I spoke to the old man. He was fucking hopeless. It's not good. It's not good, guys. Clivers, you're back. Yes, I got something to drink. Cover me. What are you drinking? Show me this highly sugary drink you're drinking. What do you mean? It's flavored sparkling seltzer water. Nothing wrong with that. I, I like that myself. I'm going to send that watch That's to Maxi. Okay. I got a few problems, Clive. Oh yeah, you're not. You're gonna have some more coming up too, bud. Archie, what is your favorite most? What is the most pit material to get for your Panerai watch strap? Stingray, so, ostrich, alligator, beaver tail, python, or toad? I would say toad, Tanzil. I'm Tanzil, and Tanzil. Boy, I tell you what, he is keeping combat straps in business. He, he's showing a new one on fist like every week. Now, and keep in mind. If, if you get one, well, if you get one, man, that kid in Montreal, Jesus, he does good work. 
He does great work. Combat straps. I use fuckers, fuckers for my NATOs. You know that? Fuckers. Fuckersstraps.com. Fuckers? Yes. Uh, yeah. And here's one that he did. Ooh, what's that on? You know I'm getting a NATO. Clivers, you know I'm getting a Pam soon, Aaron, don't you? Yeah, Aaron's bespoke Montre Aaron bespoke Montreal. Uh, crocodile, I believe. How much was that? Uh, a little over, somewhere between one and two hundred. The kid just does great work. And here is a, jeez, uh, a Forense strap, which is leather, just nice leather one. And the that's only strap to I'm going to be saying is a forensic strap tied to my ass. You mean when you go in, when you go in, when they process you in? Yeah, they're going to ask me to bend over and spread the ass cheeks, big boy. Well, it'll be like bangers, except you'll be the lady boy this time. I see. Yeah. But you won't have to wear a dress. I believe you get free TV, free meals. I could start the weight loss in there. I can't eat any of the food. You know, I'm very fussy on my food, don't you? Exercise? Yeah. Well, no, you're not. You eat KFC and Hungry Jacks. How fussy can you be? Literally, yeah, you'll, yeah, all, look, you'll, all you'll do is take the bologna sandwich and put mayonnaise on it, and you'll be fine. Tell me this, Clive, have you ever gone inside there yourself? Yeah, all the time, why? What's it like? Rough. What do you think? Well, you see, you think if I, I apologize I, profusely, that would let me just, just, just not go inside? There's a possibility, or they might want to make an example of you and throw you in for the entire year, and just make sure everyone else keeps their fucking mouth shut. Or you can claim mental illness. I got to tell you, Clive. I've got to say to you, Clive. I've had a really hard life. You know, why has everything gone wrong in my life? Can I ask you that? That's probably a conversation you need to have with your dad. I had a 1016. I sold it. Pre-boom. Yep. <coughs> well, and the thing is... I sold okay, my gold well, sub. I sold my gold sub because I ran out of money, Clive. I've had a hard life. I've worked as a prostitute. You understand that? I've sold myself to wealthy Asian women. Could until, be worse. Until, until, Clive, they said I was too fat and chubby to bring in the big punters. What's gone wrong in my life, Clive? Every marriage I've entered into has ended in divorce. You know, I was having some problems with the third step. What's and the Jack third Robbins, step? Made a decision to turn her will and their lives to the care of God as we understood him. Clive, do you actually get a pizza? Um, let me go and talk to. Let me go and just. Uh, give me, let me no go and take. Whoa, 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 whoa! Super chat. No, uh, have another beer, Arch. Three total, Archie. We love the Archibald. Okay, Turbo guys, if you guys could chip, kick in, if you guys could kick in, Archie needs some pizza now to <laughs> absorb all that alcohol. <laughs> Archie needs. Archie has enough alcohol, at least for right now. I think he needs Stephen food. Reed. Where's that Stephen K gone when you need him? Where the fuck is he? Well, can't you actually take some of the uh, horn money and use that on pizza, or do you need, or do you keep a separate fund for horn removal? No, you don't understand. Uh, you don't understand. Uh, this money doesn't come in straight away. Stephen K used to order it. I just go and pick it up. Say. Archie Luxury! He said, yes, sir. Here you go. Three pizzas and a garlic bread. Thank you. Okay. 
but I'm running it very pizza. short. Yeah, and the Domino's, that's nasty pizza, you know that? I'm as fat as a pig now, Clive. I put on weight. I can't even fit into my suit. Oh, oh. Oh, let's 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 get Dr. Bruce. I think Dr. Bruce is coming. Oh fuck, Dr. Bruce. Hold on. Oh. Do you mind if I just go and take a piss outside? I just want to urinate in the garden, okay? Yeah, go ahead. Let me let me send him the link real quick. Uh da 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 Oh, um, anyway, well, oh, I was going to tell him a great story, but he left. You know, eventually I had to come to the point that uh, I had to realize that the reason for all my failures is me. Now, um, what's up? Okay, guys, we're kind of having a nice, we're having a little bit of a slowdown in drunken addicts. Does anyone have anything they'd like to talk about? Is Archie going to prison? No, no, no. It's only up to a year. That should just be a jail sentence. Best watch investment. Uh, really, I'd say any, I hate, to, I hate to sound like Archie, but I think he's right when he says steel sports Rolex. Okay, Nate Felb. What are the what are the charges, guys? Just look up Paul Pluta and indicted, and that will tell you what it is. There's really no reason to go into it. Uh, oh, okay. What do you really think of the one one six six one zero LN? Now I think that's just the ceramic date sub. Yeah. Relic Submariner date. Yeah. Hey Clivers, how are you? Guess what? Guess what's coming for lunch today? I don't need to have I don't need to have fucking fatty pizza. You know what I got coming today? What? Fistings. I got lamb being delivered to me with vegetables. Nice. It's part of the after prison program. By the way, fuckers, happy Hanukkah. It's not Hanukkah. Hanukkah is no, never mind. Happy Hanukkah, okay. fuckers. I got bagels. Uh, you know bagels? Yes. Okay. Uh, Dr. Bruce will be on here shortly. Oh. I love okay. Dr. How many now, beers do I owe? How many beers do I owe the punters? Four beers and three scots is what Turbo's saying. Okay. And Dr. Bruce is saying go tit. So, I can't remember what we were talking about. We were talking oh, about you, nipples before, Clive. Oh, yeah, on the painting. So what do, what do you think of the uh, ceramic date sub or sub date? I think it's a beautiful watch. But I kind of prefer the pre-ceramics. They're not making them anymore. Right. Well, and I hate to say it, but, you know, I, you know what, one of the never, never going to sells is going to be the... Uh, 10460 two line no date sub period. I like the two line better, don't you? Mm hmm. Well, yeah, box papers, and moreover, whoever got it put it on a rubber strap immediately so the bracelet's never been worn. A rubber B or Everest? Rubber B. They're expensive in themselves. Yep, but you know sometimes you know, um, quality costs. I wouldn't buy one, would you? Well, when you think it, well, okay. If you okay, let me let me 
Yeah, I would. If I was if I was going to get an older sub, a pre ceramic one that didn't have solid inlakes, I would totally get one and save the wear and tear on the bracelet. I see. That would yeah, because instead of stretching out the bracelet, that way if you ever sell it. You worried about stretch? Mm. Truthfully, I got so many damn watches. Not really. No. I mean, you'd have to wear a watch for an extended period of time to stretch it and really abuse the hell out of it. Do you think I should throw this bottle into the bin once I finished it? I'm getting really drunk what? and stupid, Clive. Um... Well, I think you should go ahead and finish your alcohol. Yeah, okay, I see. Should, yeah, I've should, seen it before. Should I, should I put the cap, should I throw this fucker into the bin? Or should I go and place it there myself? Tell me. I think you should place it there yourself. Or, or Fuck you can... Fuck this, Clivis. You're a bit of a pussy. Watch this. Watch the bin in the corner. I'm going to throw it in. Okay. Underhanded, dude. Ah. Oh! It stood up, but it stood up in the corner. It's not too bad. It stood up in the corner, Clivers. Nice. Oh wow, well, that's that reminds that reminds me of the uh, indices on my uh, Polar Explorer. The last thing a lady boy's cock sees. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm, uh, what do I drink now, Clyde? Tell me what I drink now. What do I drink now, fuckers? Um, Tell me what I drink. I want to drink again. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. Um, three scotches. Oh, here. Hey, here's Mark. Oh, by the way, <coughs> by Mark, the way, fuck, it was lonely without you. Fuck I'm me back, dead. Back, Where I'm the back, fuck I'm... were you, you fucking asshole? Dinner. I had dinner. I had dinner and, you uh, and I had a quick... didn't say that. You didn't hmm. say you were going to fuck off for an hour. He did. Uh, no, he totally said he was going to fuck I'm off for an hour. I'm trying to carry the show. I'm trying to carry the show. Oh, uh, is it time to let Mark? Is it time to let Don Haynes back on? I think. No, I think the is, time. Of, I think the, the only, time. Of, I think listen, the time of penalty box has expired. The only reason to bring Don Haynes back is if we are willing to accept dunk tank super checks to kick him kick him off. It's a dollar a minute. If we bring him back on, it's a dollar a minute to kick him off. Uh, yeah, I think. I think it's. I think someone's paid for to kick him off. But I think the time is ending. Well, wait. Okay, do me a favor. Watch for current chats. Let me go back and check for the... Hey, Marky, I want to ask you something, Marky. Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. I'm thinking Paul. about selling my entire collection to buy one. Fuck off! Watch! What do you think? Yes or no? Stupid oh, okay, dumb. Wait. What do you think? You're, you'll have tremendous regret. You, you, you will be <laughs> racked with regret. And then you will start buying shitters to compensate because all the real money will be tied up in, in a langy. It's a langy. You want a langy, isn't it? No, I want a Paddock fifty one seventy. If you sell uh, five dollars, five dollars super chat, Archie, you should run for top dog when you go to prison. We've already decided he's not going to prison. At most, it's a. Now, how do I handle before. Alsatians? How do I handle vicious trained Alsatians? What do I say to him? Sit down, boy. Sit down, doggy. Nice no, doggy. Pull down your pants and bend over and take your breeding like a man. What do you do with Alsatians? Oh, vicious uh, trained Alsatians. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, don't five run. Super chat. What? $5 super chat. Five dollars super chat. Archie, you'll learn how to make prison brew in the toilet by Bing Tingye. <laughs> so, Marky, what's the advice that. with vicious Alsatians, Marky? Tell me quickly, 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 to the point. Well, if you're being attacked by police dogs, don't run, take the bite, and don't pull your arm away, or they pull back harder. You wind up with more damage. So, so basically, you... grin, bear, take the take the bite, and wait till they call the dog off. And what do I do? Do I poke their eyes with my fingers? What do I do to stop them? Hey, Gentlemen, yeah, super chats. Sorry? Super chats. Dan Kudel, two dollars for nothing. Herman Ingram, relax the solar plexus. What drink do I need to drink now, guys? Give me a booze. Uh, 
you owe th- wait was that a beer did you just have a beer i don't or- think i don't think that guy's been 100 percent honest there because i don't think enough money's come in to pay for this because i gotta reimburse the brewery i don't actually get this shit for free fuckers it's all on credit okay oh it's floor plan it's floor plan like oh. a car dealership has floor plan i got floor plan for booze marky you know that marky i heard that Marky, oh, vicious Lord. Alsatian attacking me. What do I say? Sit down, doggy. Give me some advice quickly, quickly. Well, you, you will not be able to talk to a vicious Alsatian German Shepherd for the Americans, which is attacking you. You'll be too busy screaming and bleeding like a little girl. So what do you do then? You, you take the bite and wait until the cop calls off the dog. Just take the bite. Don't pull away. Take the bite. You reckon? Take the bite. What? There's more damage done. The dog is holding. You're pulling back his teeth. Are now tearing giant chunks of flesh. If you just hold, they ju- they hold. Now, when he's when he when he's on my arm, can I poke him in the eyes? Sure, you can do that. Now you got resisting oh. arrest. You know, in this country, a police dog is considered an officer. So you poke a police dog in the eye, and you now have attempted oh, murder. Sorry. You have you have uh, resisting arrest. You have all sorts of additional charges. <laughs> can I just point out one thing real quick? Yes. Yeah. Suck a horn! 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 I'm going to eat healthy lunch today. I got the Salvation Army dropping some food off. Is that okay, Clive? Please? Sure. Uh, offer, them a drink, offer them a drink when they come in. Super chat. I saw it. Archie, Sorry. I want you to run and dance with your yeah. shotling head on to... Iggy Zelia Fancy. Rap and dance. Rap. He wants rapping. Rap. Rapping and dance. Okay. I thought he said fap and dance. Nope. I like what? KFC raps, by the way. Okay. Rap and dance with your get your shitling hat. By the way, am I the first did we start or, the, or did people call Brightling Shitling before we started or No 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 it's good to you, Clive. I think that's a rancher <laughs> thing. Okay. No, serious. I'm, I'm wondering about that. Is that's actually another first for me because actually on what you on what you want, I actually started the uh, Tim Musso JLC drinking game. I would really like to talk at some. He's point, got a bit of an ego, that Tim Musso. You know that. Don't you think? Listen, he's brilliant. I, let me. I got two two opinions on Tim. Aside from his six and a third inch, like tiny little wrist. He's a brilliant man with a very large vocabulary, and I think he got beat up on the first grade playground every day of his life, every day. But Clive, there's a there's an elephant in the room, Clive. There's an elephant in the room, and we haven't talked about it. What is the elephant? It, uh, it, it is an elephant that, that speaks a French. It is a French elephant. How do you? How uh, do you okay, uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's, okay, fine, fine. Had a busy week at the Undertaker, and we should hear about this. Oh, we oui, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, I need to fess up about something, and I really have been talking to Mark about it. When did you start Mark. smoking cigarettes again? You were vaping. I know. What the fuck's gone wrong there? Did you run out of cancer? You need more? I gotta say, look, Mark, look, your your more, video is more. incredible. The video quality, what the fucking camera are you using? Your camera is amazing. It's a MacBook Air. It looks amazing. Really? Hang on, let me, let me let me clean a lens. Hang on. I need to clean I need to finish my maintenance routine here. There. Is that still good? I think Clive's Clive's camera is covered in nicotine. That's the problem. He's vaping. <laughs> no, he's smoking. No, I'm not. I'm totally not smoking. <laughs> that is a that is a combustible cigarette, my friend. No, it's the new e-cigarette. It mimics it? it mimics a regular cigarette perfectly. Right down to the lighter. So what what brand is that? Is that a Paul Mall or like what you know? What exactly are you smoking? Um, oh my God, Gee, Archie! What I think something fell or broke. That sounded bad. What are you smoking, Clyde? <coughs> Marlboro Black. Marlboro Black, like the inside of your lung. I didn't you just cough up some phlegm? I think I just heard phlegm. Ooh, that is a damn 
That is a damn lie, sir. A damn lie. Uh, did you just hawk up a loogie on national, international YouTube, sir? Um, on the no, I, I went off. To, no, I went off camera to do it. Completely <laughs> different. I'd like to know what kind of receptacle you have at your side there, as though you were chewing tobacco. And uh, we, have, what, what did you spit that in? Is there anything oh, there? Uh, Dan, Dan Koodle, uh, two dollars. Oh, and yeah, he still needs to do the wrap. Um, guys, if it's anything that involves anything thought or effort, I think Archie's kind of beyond that at this point. I, I would agree. But back to your uh, – we, we got to wait for him to come back. While we're waiting for him to come back, I really want to ask you about Clive's Eiffel Tower. I've been meaning to ask you about the Eiffel Tower behind okay, your shoulder. Well, it's a building in Paris. I, I know what it is. It's not really a building. It's a structure. Well, we're okay. Have you ever been there? I've not, no. It's it's very cool. It is much, for whatever reason, when you're there at the base of it, it's a lot bigger than you think. Well, I can imagine because, yeah, the, the size of it. When I was there, I made quite a bit of money because there's a lot of tourists trying to take selfies. So you just, uh -huh. offer, you just offer to take their photograph with their phone, and then you run away. <laughs> it could be... <laughs> But you gotta you gotta pick little old ladies because I don't run that fast. So, and let, let me tell you my other my other favorite way. There's two. There's my the absolute best way to make money if you were ever stranded in Paris, France. There is a perfect way to make money and survive there. Um, have you ever heard of their famous cemetery where um, Jim Morrison from The Doors is buried in? And th that right. cemetery, yeah, the cemetery is called Père Lachaise, and it's like 300 acres of ramshackle cemetery. Chopin is buried there. Um, Alice B. Toklas and Gertrude Stein, great literary figures from the early 20th century are buried there. Right. Chopin, the composer. Oscar Wilde is buried there. Um, so there's just tons of very, very famous graves and people. Um, uh, Jim Morrison from The Doors, there's, uh, there's fresh flowers at his graveside every day. No one seems to know who puts them there. But there's a lot of mausoleums and uh, in Père Lachaise. And these mausoleums are up to 200 years old, at least 200 years old. Now, people have stopped paying the, uh, you know, the maintenance fees on a lot of these mausoleums. And so a lot of them have broken open and they're filled with furniture because the family used to sit on these chairs and while they paid their respects at the mausoleum. So I'm saying you could go in there and cart out 150, 200 year old French antiques right out of these broken, broken open mausoleum and you could sell you just bring them right back into this country and sell them for like <laughs> okay <laughs> dr bruce we're getting a lot of feedback well he's running he's running devices at the same time that's why okay hey dr bruce if you're if, if you're watching the live stream, kill the kill whatever you're watching it on. Did that help? I think so. Did that? Did we try? Did that actually, okay. So. Oh, I just burnt my mouth. I just <laughs> burnt my mouth, guys. I just burnt my mouth. Go to the bathroom. You're gonna doctor, burn your mouth. Doctor, doctor, I burnt my mouth. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, you know what? <laughs> God. That's, is that your Don Haynes impression? Attention to the terminal. If you were uh, recently in the Oso restaurant, I bet you can tell I'm at an airport. A backpack, no. could you please Seriously, please you operate on people. And if you were recently in the Oso restaurant and retrieved a backpack, will you please return that back to gate 10? Fuck that backpack. Mute him. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Hey, Doc, how are you? Uh, I'm much better now. Doc, I got to get my moles cut off. I've taken five hundred dollars. What should I do? Carrying under attention, please. Please do not leave. I think you account. probably want to see a plastic okay. surgeon. M three A U. No, I, no, actually, no. What you need to do is you need to find the Vietnamese woman at the mall who charges five dollars to like pierce the little girl's ears. And she'll charge you like she'll charge you like ten dollars a horn. Right where they uh, right where they do eyebrows, right? Where they do nails and eyebrows. Doc, 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 doc. What drink should I get? Okay. I'm gonna. 
I'm going to log out and come back in in a moment when I get to a okay. quiet spot. Go to the operating room. It's quiet. What an idea. The man, has a, the man has been to college and medical school, and he still calls. He still calls. Archie, the uh, uh, Archie are, you set, are you set about the rumors that the Seiko SARB will be continue, discontinued? <laughs> no, he's not. He I'm not really. Know. I tell to tell you the truth. The only reason I plug Seiko on the channel is so the sons of bitches who are doing home invasions don't steal the good stuff. Somebody has to see my ball. I okay. hate fucking Seiko. I fucking hate the brand. I hate the brand. I hate fucking hate the brand. Even Grand Seikos, I fucking hate. I couldn't even get an erection looking at a Seiko. This no, is not. I mean Done. Get the wants... quartz. Get the quartz. The quartz is fucking. I hate. You know what, though? I'll tell you, Seiko is about as much fun as you can have with a watch for like three hundred bucks. The reason yeah. that I don't like Grand Seiko is because you know you can get a two three hundred dollar watch or a three four five thousand dollar watch, and they both say Seiko on them, and I don't like they that. They both look the fucking same. You know, this they fucking look the same. It's just fucking. That, that's crazy. the problem. You can have an awful lot of fun with a turtle for three hundred bucks. You know, that, that's not that's a fun watch. Now, I know it doesn't. I know it's got to hurt. I know it's got to hurt. But you know, Mark, I wanted to ask you something, right? What do you think of the idea? I sold everything in my collection and bought a fifty-one seventy. Yes, no. Just give me a quick yes, no. 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 You'll regret it. Do you remember how you cried after you bought that Breitling? You did not listen, and you bought the white Scheitling. The I, like, I actually miss the white one now. You know that? Yeah, yeah. That's only because you sold it. If you kept it, you'd hate it. You missed the box more than you missed the watch. I got the box back again. You know that? <laughs> you love that box. I got, I got the box in the Breitling Heritage too. It's got the box, the new box. Yeah, no, 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 no. But that box is worn out. You liked the original box. What original box? The box that you got with the with the Schweitling. You That was a better box. I've got the same one. No, no, you don't understand. I bought a three-day-old Breitling. I know. That's got the tan interior. Uh, that's, that's, that's just as good. That's just as good. You went to the boutique. That's true. You went and got shafted at the Scheitling boutique. I, I didn't buy it from the boutique. No. I said they don't discount. I did enjoy the, uh, I enjoyed the B-roll there. And you did not get a scotch. I was a little offended for you. I know. I mean, what the fuck is this, you know? I think if you get any sort of an alcoholic beverage or a champagne at a watch dealer, that is – that. When you see that come out, that's that's exactly like you go into the doctor and he pulls out the rubber glove and the lubricant. Like it's the same thing. When they put the champagne glass out for you, you should think about a doctor snapping a rubber glove on and lubing up that finger, maybe three fingers. Because if you're getting a glass of champagne, this is what they're gonna do to you. Never take the champagne. You reckon? Never. I don't want to go to a place that's right. sort of like where you got where you need the secret knock to get in, and you got to say Fred sent me. I don't want to go to that. I think they want to be old. I don't know what okay. to say. It's kind of funny. I'm watching out the other the live comments on the other one. There's a delay, so I, I'm so I look over and there's Mark. <laughs> Super chat, Dan. You tell two dollars with no request, so it's a free two bucks. Dan, thanks. Appreciate. It. Appreciate the I'm going to go and get my food. I'd be one minute. Oh. The Salvation Army van's out the front. So I think it's five more minutes and the 90 minutes is up. Someone and paid $90. And then Someone paid that. Did yeah. they really? So I had a pretty good idea yeah. then. The good idea. It was actually pretty decent. Yeah, I actually. The second he comes back, someone will pay another 30 to get rid of him for half an hour. Okay. Louis Toledo, actually, not great timing, Louis. Sorry. Archie, yellow gold Daytona, white, black, or green dial? Oh, man. Green. Don't you think? Yeah. yeah green. I think so. I agree. Green. They have a dark jade green, like almost like a British racing green, a little darker. That would be the one for me. I also, also, guys, Yeah. let's be honest. Archie is kind of incapacitated right now because of excessive food and drink, or at least excessive drink. So let's keep the super chat simple questions nice and simple. Nothing involving complex thought or actions or effort. You could probably you could probably get a fart for like seven fifty right now. Like you could probably do that. Oh, Dan I, I, Toodle. 
Again, with the $2 and no request. Thanks, Dan. Thanks for the deuce. Yeah. We would answer Playboy the question. Hey, hey, Max man. Levinson's. Ma Max, yeah, I like Max. He's my heat bra. Me too. Love your pad, Max. So, um, I, I, when when are we going to talk about the flanche elephant in the room? We need the pontiff to sit still long enough. It was not going to happen. It's, it's not, not. We can do it right now. He's not going to remember tomorrow anyway. So, yeah, I say we totally. I, I totally want to do it right now. This is the best time for me to do it. Not going to happen tonight. Polar Red's asking when I'm getting the new 43. I keep. I keep. Toler I keep. You know what? I was in the authorized dealer last night because they're in a mall where I had rest. Where I had dinner. And um, you know there was a bunch of students back at the authorized dealer yesterday. They had, they had a, a much better stock than they did before, so they're filling back up. But they naturally they did not have a, a red line sea dweller. And if they had, I would have bought it last night retail and paid property nice. tax. Hey guys, just I want to let you know I'm just having some dinner. The Salvation Army van is out the front. Prison food service delivery looks a bit like someone already ate it. This is healthier. What do you think? This is healthier than the pizza, isn't it? Look, potato, mushroom. It's healthier, isn't it? Must be something about the angle. Looks a bit like looks a bit like a dog's breakfast. Kind of does. Why do you say that? Beautiful. Well, it's just your camera. It's not. It's not an artful presentation. There's no garnish. Did you just have a piece of meat fall out of your mouth, Arch? <laughs> I think I, you I did. Know, but Let's back it up. Wait a minute. I've got time delay on the other one. Yeah, we to yeah, you yeah, totally fell out of his mouth. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But you Archie, while you were out peeing in the garden, you missed <laughs> you missed Clyde hawking up a phlegm ball somewhere on his carpet, as far as we know. We had a little room. Archie, you're gonna need a Heimlich maneuver. Where's the Dr. Bruce when we need him? If you put something my father always told me, Archie, never put anything in your mouth bigger than your head. <laughs> like, that that is too large for you to. Where is, where is, where is Doctor Bruce? Well, gate thirty four, obviously. Jeez, where were you? Who's what happened to the backpack? Inquiring minds want to know what happened to the damn backpack. No idea. No. So tell idea. me this. Tell me this. What should I do? I'm not happy in my life. My life is a shambles. I'm thinking about buying well, one watch. Said, you're about to commit suicide by roast beef. Don't. Do, oh my God. That is very dangerous. There is nobody there to give you a high needle like maneuver, Archie. I want you to take much smaller bites. It's lamb, lamb, lamb. Wow. Ah. You had a leg in the oven, did you? The salvation nice. lady came and visited. You know, the Clyde, the lamb in the United States is nowhere near what it is in Australia. Australian and New Zealand lamb is a thing of beauty, but the lamb that we get here is nothing. It's not even vaguely the same. Wow. Even when it's imported from New Zealand. Not the this same. lamb, boys. Well, you know, okay, Archie, while we're sitting here, I kind of had, I kind of had a secret I've been holding up for a while. Yes. Yeah, and I've been really talking to Mark about it. Mark's been helping me work through this. Talk about it. Deep psychological counseling. This is yeah, this actually. is important, Paul. This is important. You might want to slow down the chomping for a second. Okay, okay, okay. I have been. Uh, Holding back on this, I've been kind of uh, not open and honest. I've been kind of uh, talk to me, talk to me. What's going on? Well, I've not. I've really been hi kind of hiding out on this. Not really. What is it? it. Well, Speak. Mark, Mark actually has talked to me and uh, been working with me on being more open and honest about this, and to sort of uh, come out and be honest about this little secret I've been holding back for a while. It's time, Clive. It's time. All right, all right. Thank God my parents are dead. Well, you know, we can see the Eiffel Tower behind you, right? That's French. Uh, it's not a Cartier, is it? That's a card. That's totally a Cartier. And it's and it's little and it's gold and it's French. Super chat. And it's French. It is super chat. Archie, where do I see? That's why he's telling you not to take big bites because he's afraid you're going to choke. I was kind of hoping. You, anyway, you joking? What, what, a Cartier, what the fuck are you buying a Cartier for? Well, we're getting to there. Where do I have to go to get a Polar Explorer two for four thousand flat? Don't say Kenny. He wants fifty nine hundred. What dealer is consistently honest and wants the best price? 
prices have gone up, Sunshine. They have. Yep. How much was the Cartier? A uh, thousand bucks. What? Yeah. What is it? A musty Cartier or a proper Cartier? Proper Cartier. Eating carrot? Well, cased. So, so the gun? What? It, how do you mean cased? It's way four. It's like probably 50s. Still manual wine. Solid gold. Gold cased. Why is it? Is what what the, do you mean by gold cased? What the fuck is gold cased? What the hell does that mean? No bracelet. What? No bracelet. Just It's a gay gold case, no bracelet. They often came right. like that, didn't they? Yeah. Why is the writing in running writing? Uh, writing it was just the one. It was one for the uh, one for the time for this model. What year is this? Fifties. It's solid it's gold or plated? What is it? Plated. You know how I feel about plated. Why would you buy this garbage, Clive? Well, that's really the point, isn't it? That's really the point that we ultimately have to talk about. But are we done on this topic? I'm not even sure we're done on this brand topic. I think I might be banning Clive soon. You bought a Cartier? <laughs> yeah, actually, I did. Are you swinging for the other side now? Well. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, look, look! I've heard you, I've heard you talking about how much you love gay men. He meant gray men, gray-haired. Oh, oh, oh! I'm good then. Never mind. I'm just gonna go into the garden for a minute. I'll be back in a minute, guys. I'm just disgusted. Look what he's eating. How, how long did that take him to eat that? My, my Valjoux 7750 estimates that he took 3.5 minutes to eat like a kilo of lamb and three potatoes whole without chewing. I think he swallowed them like pills. Yeah, pretty much. Is he coming back or no? I don't know. I think he's appalled and he's, he's considering banning you. The problem is, Clive, if he bans you, he can kiss Super Chat money like – Goodbye. You really can't. The last time he banned you, it cost him like a thousand dollars. You know. Somebody wants to know if Archie's going to get conjugal visits when he's in jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, N Nana Kim will be paying a visit. <laughs> no, no. I wonder if there's good shampoo in jail. I wonder if there's there has to be. It'd, be. it'd be a violation of his constitutional rights. So I think he was I think he was a little upset by the fact that you not only bought a Cartier but that it's gold plated now you said cased in gold what you really meant was cased in about 3 microns of gold No 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 it's actually it's thick solid gold it, no that it's not plated Oh you mean you were fucking with him when you said it was plated You just no, told him to No it's it's cased there's a difference between cased and plated cased is much thicker ah. So that case is what Tudor just did on their two-tone black bay. Exactly. Okay, so it's yes. uh, it's not plate. It's a uh, it's sort of like um, uh, when they take the Snickers bar and they drip it in chocolate over no, top. No, it's like dairy. It's like Dairy Queen. Okay, <laughs> it's dipped in the shell. Got it. Exactly. <laughs> oh, we did that in unison. That was awesome, actually. <laughs> we did. <laughs> By the way, I gotta say. You would think that taking a Dairy Queen for quite a long time and now has chocolate soft serve. So you would think that dipping chocolate soft serve in chocolate shell would be like the, the shit, the shiznit, but it's not. Yeah. Don't do it. It, it. it turns out that you need the vanilla dipped in chocolate because it is the contrast between the vanilla and the chocolate that provides the full flavor experience. Because if you dip chocolate in the chocolate, it's sort of they neutralize each other and it's not a satisfying experience. You know, actually, there are a few things that my dad and I ever agreed upon, other than mom being a bitch. <laughs> but one of them, one of it was the few things was the uh, chocolate covered cherry blizzard. Both what love that. The, the chocolate yeah. covered chocolate they, covered cherry. I always like them. The kind that not the cream, but the actual cherry with juice in yeah. the chocolate in the candy. Yeah, you know, it, like squish, squishes yeah. in your mouth. I seem to have always actually, liked it. Actually, every time I go to Dairy Queen, I get one and I kind of pour a little, I go in the parking lot and I pour a little on the ground for dad. <laughs> oh, for your homies. So yeah. um, did you know that, that that chocolate shell 
They have that in uh, peanut butter flavor too. Did you know that? No, did not know that. We barely, we almost ran, we almost ran out of Dairy Queens. They almost went extinct. It was like an endangered species. Well, there's another, there's another ice cream place here called Brahms. They've almost driven them to the point of extinction. Have you ever thought about opening a Dairy Queen of your own? There is, they, there's a couple are opening it back up, but they've been, they've been so well run. But, but the thing is about the chocolate covered cherry blizzard, literally, but for it to be done well, they have to get the dip cone chocolate when they're, when they're mixing it up and get a little dip cone chocolate and, and mix it in there. You know what I mean? So, so half the time that half the chocolate goes to the side of the cup and attaches. So you're having to sit there with a spoon and kind of like almost mine it off the side. Guys, of the cup. I got to stop drinking guys. I got to stop drinking. I'm having, I'm having flat, terrible, terrible thoughts in my brain. I had this terrible thought that Clive had bought a Cartier gold plated. Well, it's not plated. It's cased. Cased. I don't think they made them like that, did they? Well, they did in 1950. I don't think the font is right on the dial. Oh, we had that. Yeah, there's not well, um, Clive, you have anything to say about that? I have researched it. The one on that one is appropriate, yes. Because I've got the, you know, behind my book library behind me, right? You think this is just for show, right? Is that a got many, that's exactly that's exactly what we think. <laughs> I got Cartier <laughs> books. I got Cartier books there. You know, I got Cartier books. Well, Archie, let me ask you a question, Paul. Yeah. Let me what? let me show you my book. Let me show you my book. Let me show you my library. I've got yeah. lots of books on weight loss there. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Paul, what do you suppose would make a a red blooded American? Straight male lawyer from Oklahoma by a Cartier. What? What pussy, could? Claw? Pussy, pussy, pussy. Now, remember, gay lives matter, Paul, and you love gray men. So, what do you think could cause such a horological revolution? What do you think could cause such a tumultuous purchase? I don't know. I'm not convinced. This is a skit. The, this is a. I the, can't... The first question you asked them was, "Have you switched teams?" Didn't you ask? Yes. Didn't you ask? Clive yes, that? I did say that. I did say that. Well, He's now, shooting for the other side now. Just, just play an intermediary for a quick moment. Let's just for a quick moment assume that maybe Clyde hasn't switched sides, but Clyde's finally ready to tell you what side he's always been playing for. As a uh, as a lover of style, a lover of horology, fashion, luxury goods, and gray men. You think that you would be an accepting friend, you know, the kind of friend that we could count on to, like, you know, back up Clyde and his new, his new, newly found lifestyle. Just theoretically, I, 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 I have no, no predetermined moral judgments on. I have no Catholic guilt. I have no Christian morals. upbringing, which would you don't have any morals serve, at all. <laughs> you, you are a. I, I would I have no problems with that. Tell me the truth. Dr. Bruce is back. Dr. Bruce, thank God super you're chat, here. Super chat. We're we have a super chat. Look it up. Okay, look. Okay, Enzo Bar, look. Number one, we can't really Archie is under legal advice of counsel, not me, to not talk about it on the air. Number one. Number two, Archie is Physically and mentally incapable of discussing pretty much anything at this point. I don't know. The Fifty Shades of Grey episode. Uh, are you once again in the middle of a? Are you at a bus station? Airport. You need to get into a toilet stall where it's very quiet. I thought I was in the quietest area in the in the place. That's what they yes, told me. It's, it's called a run. It's called the runway would be quieter. <laughs> If, if it's if it's too bad, I'll just have to log out and, and accept that there's no place quiet yeah. in an airport. How are you, Doctor? Doctor, what's going on? Clive is buying Cartier gold-plated shitters. Mark has become straight. Gold the case. world gold has case. gone crazy. Doctor, doctor, give me the flu. What can I do? Give me the, the news. I, he's, got a, he's got a bad case of loving you. The first thing I want to say is the, the horns that you, that you have there uh, – some treat those as large skin tags. And yeah. um, what should and I do, Doc? Just tell me what the fuck I do. Dental floss. Can we use dental floss, Doc? 
No, no. See, <laughs> see, now look, this is my personal theory. I think the horns are what's left of Archie's brain trying to escape his skull. Cutting them off would be tantamount to a lobotomy. You know, skin tags can be removed by tying dental floss around them, cutting off the blood supply. But I think those guys have some serious blood supply. The other thing that can be done is using uh, using uh, liquid liquid uh, nitrogen. nitrogen. Does that hurt, Doc? Because I'm a skatey cat. I've had that done. It's it's a uh, it, it burns a little. But I think they're a bit big for that, don't you, Doc? There's they're they're like pedicles. There's there's a blood supply there. Well. <clears throat> Could he go into could he go into Japan and make like some sort of live action anime or something with them? <laughs> now, Doc, what should I do, Doc? What should I do? Tell me what I do, Doc. I think you want to have a doctor examine them and what actually sort of physically touch them. What sort of doctor? A gynecologist. <laughs> no, 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 no. You want an expert. You want an expert? I thought he was going to say proctologist. I thought he was going to say proctologist. Remember that Dr. Bruce is a gynecologist on his lunch hour. No, he he needs to, he needs to see he needs to see a depending upon if I'm motivated. He needs to see a medical professional that's been trained to deal these sort of problems. You know, a veterinarian. <laughs> Preferably one that deals with cows. Oh, I'm just saying. All right. <laughs> I, I think you seriously should go to a plastic surgeon because because they're on your face. So you'd, you'd go to a plastic surgeon, not not a, a dermatologist. Why is that, Doc? What's a dermatologist? You don't want scarring. You want a better. You want better. Somebody who knows how to do removals without scarring and can close that up with an elliptical pattern, with, with about forty stitches per side, little teeny tiny ones, right, Doc? Exactly what Super G says. Exactly. I went to medical school. I didn't graduate, but now, Doc, Clive's been buying gold-plated Cartiers. Can you give him some gold advice? Case. Cased, cased. They're enrobed in a thicker layer than normal, like seven Thank microns you. instead of three. Exactly. Well, I'm thicker than that. Maybe like twenty. <laughs> I'm gonna say the I'm gonna say the Gloria Geneva is the best watch he had. Fair enough. I'm wearing it now. Where's the Daytona, Doc? I'll be honest. That's that's a that's in the safe deposit box at the moment. Did he come on the Jubilee, Doc, or did you put it on the Jubilee? No, it came that way. That's crazy. What what year is it? I've never seen one on a Jubilee. Sixty-five. No, but they Mark, told was, they told me it was a 1966. I'll have to look to see what the serial numbers match up. Aren't you? Might that's be right. right. It might be. No, but back then, back then, it was mix and match and bracelets. There that's was a, no well, the, Doc, do you, but, ever, but the, do you ever wear it? Like that's a real collector's piece. Do you ever wear it? I've I've worn it to I wore it to a uh, I wore it to uh, an arbitration once that I was testifying in, um, and I've I've worn it to other things sort of like that. Like if I had to go to court or something like that. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, it's a beautiful piece. Amazing. Thank but you. He, I, I got lucky he, with that. I did. But he chooses to wear the. But he chooses to wear the Gloria Genève. I I like it. <laughs> yes, I like my ball. Well, so, no, actually, no. It's no. Anyway, the no. Never mind. I won't. I won't get to the point. I was going to. You know, somebody somebody mentioned that you might go to a discount plastic surgeon in Bangers. And uh, I don't know if you have socialized medicine in Australia, but if you have to pay, he might not be far off the mark because uh, Bangkok has some amazingly well-accredited plastic surgeons. Um, and the reason for that is because they do all that ladyboy surgery. So well, not only that, but they have surgeons from all over the world who, who operate there and yeah. then are able to spend holiday there at the same time. So uh, there are a lot of surgeons from the UK and from the United States that go there to Thailand too. My theory is that's because they can't get sued there. So they don't have to wash their hands. What do you think? Maybe not a bad idea. Right? You don't have to wash your hands. Go quicker. But uh, stuff is way cheaper. And a friend of mine, I, you know, I just came home. I was there for uh, most of February and um, a friend of mine needed to, uh, to get a, a veneer fixed and they charged him Six hundred baht for a new veneer. Dude, like amazing. 
it's like Vermeer. Vermeer. Wasn't that a Dutch painter? No, Vermeer. I mean, that's like uh, they're twelve bucks. It's like crazy. I was gonna say six hundred. Six hundred bucks would even be a good price, let alone six hundred baht. Okay, okay, guys. Mega J Foe, two dollars. Is the Polar Explorer two is still a good buy? Of course it is. Buy it, buy it, buy it before it gets more expensive. Doctor, but which one? Is. Which Explorer? The sixteen fifth five seven zero. No, but I mean black dial, white dial. Uh, polar, 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 polar. White. Polar, white, white, white. Doc. And obviously, me. if you if you can, you want to go polar with the uh, nice patina on on there if you can find it. Can I just yeah. say that black dials matter? Can I just put that out there? Black dials do matter. White dial privilege. There is white, white dial, dial privilege, privilege too. Doc, have you bought anything this week? Um, when did I get that Gloria Genev? Was that this week? I think that was, last, that was week. last week. Was that last week? Okay. That was last week, sir. That's Doc, the last watch I bought. You were saying to me, you were looking at having children because on your deathbed, most people say, bring me my children, bring me my children. Well, that's not the reason. I mean, people... People want their children. They want their immediate family and their closest friends. That's what they want. So and they want their Paul Newman Daytona. That's my grail. That's what you're going to be calling for. That's my grail. I want. I want the one with the with the red chapter ring. Bring me the honey cake and the Paul Newman Daytona, so I can enjoy them before I go. <laughs> not in that order. Not in that order. <laughs> So what's what's the advice on dying, Doc? What's any advice on dying? Try not try to, not to do it. To land as long as possible. Do you have any children at the moment, Doc? At the moment? <laughs> uh, not that I know of. At the moment. When are you going to start trying? Um, I've tried a few times already. Oh, I guess that's just practice runs. Yes. Maybe you're, maybe you're hitting the wrong target, buddy. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe going to the anatomy lab for a practice. <laughs> uh, actually, actually, uh, my, my ex-wife, uh, it was one of those few things where I wanted kids and she didn't. It's like, you know, it was reverse of what everybody thought well, was that's going where on. You tell her, that's where you tell her you're going to pull out and you forget the rhythm method. You just kind of, oops. But I, I, I think, I think. I think she was sabotaging that pharmacologically, though. Anyway, um, you're supposed that? To how was she sabotaging, Doc? The pill. She took the pill. I, I think she was taking pills. But didn't you replace them with the sugar pills? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I'm glad you didn't. Otherwise, you'd be selling that Daytona. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. It would be it would be a nasty divorce with kids. Right. So I can't she understand why the marriage didn't last, Doc. You're wealthy. You're charming. You're very handsome. Why didn't this last? All he said was, sweetie, I'm starting to watch Archie Luxury on YouTube. <laughs> Why did it go wrong, Doc? Tell me when this. She, when he tipped her with shampoo. He paid her mm. with a shampoo and juice. And that was the end of it right there. For the third anniversary, <laughs> he gave her a hotel shampoo. I give you shampoo. <laughs> what is wrong? I do. I, I, I've got those on the floor. Don't worry about that. There, I, I got spare shampoos. I can share with you. You know that I have them on the floor. Spare shampoos. You know, I, I was in Nana Plaza on the BTS. There's a there's a Nana Plaza stop on the BTS. Yes. Bangkok. And I really was thinking about you, Paul. When I was going to Paragon Siam, so I think uh, stopped at Nana Plaza, and I was really thinking about you. I thought I'd go look at him, but I think he's willing to. So, Doc, do you hope to have kids before you leave this planet? Um, how did you know I was going to try that Mars thing? <laughs> um, that's that's just a joke. I'm going to wait for us to go to the moon before we go to Mars. But uh, I didn't what? we. Ronnie go. Paul, that's oh, too expensive. To that's too that. expensive. You should be paying about. You should be paying four, Ronnie Paul. For a Polar Explorer? Yeah. Now, Doc, I want to oh. ask you this. Um, when do you hope to have kids? You're in your early 60s, aren't you? No. I, I disagree no. with that. My area... Every time my I talk to you, they get older. Four? 
Four. No. The next time I talk to you, I'm going to be in my early 70s, I'm sure. So tell me this, Doc. Um, are you? How are you planning to have kids? You need to find a surrogate wife. Surrogate. What do you okay. mean? Uh, we have to explain this to Ronnie you? Paul, Ronnie Paul, listen to the pun of, you should go get yourself a $4,000 Polar Explorer. And as soon as you're done with that, you go right down the street and you, you get yourself a 99 cent breakfast at Denny's. <laughs> What's wrong with Denny's? I'm, I like it's that. been a while since they've had 99 cent breakfast, Archie. Yeah, that's, that's true. A, now, tell yeah. me this, Doc. What do you think, Doc? Why is it, Doc? When are you going to start having babies, Doc? Part of it is I, I'm not really awesome. worried about it right now. The ship is sailed. The ship is sailed. I think I think if, I think when I get to sixty, I'll probably be panicked about it. But uh, right now, I'm not panicked about it. Well, you could. How old are you, Doc? I'm fifty. Oh Please. shit! Sorry, I thought I thought you said you were sixty. No. Doc, he's but just. What I get to, that, you sound very young, Doc. You sound like you're in your forties. Um. Thank you. I guess that's good, living, that's good living in nitrous oxide. Those two things together. <laughs> I haven't smoked in a long time, so. Did you yeah. used to smoke? Um. All doctors. But I didn't inhale. All doctors. <laughs> all doctors secretly smoke. Hey, Clive, why don't you light one up for us? I will hear in a second. I thought he's constantly lighting one up. What do you think of the idea of me selling everything and buying one fuck off watch like a 5170 paddock? It's the chronograph manual wine, Doc. Tell me, tell me, tell me, Doc. I honestly think that's going in the reverse of uh, where you need to go. I mean, I, I think having having everything in a single watch and then maybe having the watch in the safe deposit box somewhere if you feel unsafe and then you're not wearing a watch and then he'll start buying he'll start buying shitters he'll buy tiso and rado and uh next thing you'll be wearing a casio Ooh, sorry shouldn't have said that i'm sorry i didn't mean it he'll be buying all the swiss brands he'll buy a but I, mean, I think i think you're better off having a nice variety of watches that you get to enjoy and wear and cycle them like 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 marvelous mark here i mean he cycles his watches my my watchsmith said that's the best thing to do not to have a, a watch winder but just to cycle them and let them run out and, and then grab some others and cycle those through i do that because i have a severe case of obsessive compulsive disorder <laughs> it's like the but only I mean, way you, the coping but you were like a, you wear a few of your watches every day right like yeah I two do. or three every day right Minimum. I don't, I don't even remember how many times I've changed watches today. Probably. What's the least. most you've changed in a day, Mark? What's the most watches you've changed in a day? Well, I've probably changed eight or nine times on a really, on a really, on a really frantic, bad, crazy day. Eight or nine times, maybe. I probably have I changed do. watches. I probably changed watches today already, maybe five times. Well, what my watchsmith says that the watch winders can potentially wear out the watch prematurely. Mm. I've got That's five watches. I've got five watches in the house right now. Come to think of it, and I've worn them all today. I've what's worn that? What do, what do you got? Tell me what you got, Mark. Give me a run through quickly. Well, quickly. You, you know, you won't like what's you won't like what all of what's in the house. But right now, what's in the house is uh, the Rolex James Cameron. Yep. Ooh, nice, nice. So I do enjoy that one. That's the best watch in the house today, and uh, might be the best one I own. I also have um, a Breitling World Timer for the house. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's, it's gorgeous, Dan. I think, I love I think that. that's good. That's good right there. I really like that. I wore that one today. I have the uh, the Rolex Datejust. Ooh. Yeah, 1601. So I wore 16, that. 16013. Yep. Keep going. Wore that I, today. Love, I love the two tone on a Jubilee. Two tone on a Jubilee. You know what? I don't like, I typically don't like Jubilee on anything, but for whatever reason, on this and on that year day tone, it's amazing. And it works really well on this, too. Um, but I, I rarely like it, and it's got it's got some stretch on it. You know, Not but too bad. Cool. That's pretty good condition. It's, that gives uh, it character. That gives it character. It, I'm gonna I'm gonna soak it in Viagra. So that's three. Uh, and then I wore <laughs> uh, I'm wearing a ball. That's four. And uh, I have a, a G Shock here, and I wore that while I was working with the dogs. Five. So I wore five watches today. We got a we got a 
Uh, $10 super chat. Okay, no. Uh, what's love from Hawaii? Clive, what was your serious talk? Are you swinging the other way? How much Japan? Or are you getting serious with garbage fire? Um, no, it's just to, basically it's just to say that I got a cardiac. <laughs> so it's going to work out something with Mark and just say, just really work it up and just more or less say I was coming out of the closet, Cartier closet. How much was it, Clive? How much was this Cartier? I told you already. Uh, yeah, I told you already, but yeah. Thousand bucks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not convinced it's real. That font doesn't seem to be right, Clive. Um, okay. I've had my guy check it out, but yeah. What is, what is <laughs> Let's open it up live. Maybe the dial's refinished and it's got a slightly different font. No, but it was similar. Of the now, the musty Cartiers also had the curse of fun as well. I don't think I like the musty Cartier. It's the poor man's Cartier, Doc. It's like a tutor, tutor for tutor for homosexuals. As soon as they call it a musty, you don't you probably don't want it. I, I don't know why I don't like that word musty. It makes it sound like it's covered in mildew. Like exactly. I can't it musty. That's the one I would leave behind if they, oh, you can have the musty one. No, thank you. Everyday Grail says you should open that Cartier with a butter knife so we can take a look at the movie. Uh, no. <laughs> Clive, what are you doing? You're smoking a real cigarette. What's going on? Yeah, we, we, need, talk, we need to know. Corbin Colossus said, uh, it fought me dead. <laughs> I thought it was good. Doc, I, I where are you going? Like You're at the airport, Doc. Where are you headed? Where are you going? I just got back from San Francisco. Oh, you know, was it leather weekend or you know what were you doing there? How many cardiacs? <laughs> How many cardiacs did was, you see? I was getting my ass whipped during a deposition. That's what was happening. Oh my so god. You, the, a, you take a ride on these the These attorneys are vicious. These attorneys are vicious. So you were an expert witness, and I know you can't discuss the particulars of the case, but was it a malpractice case? or you know what? Um, It was a workers' compensation case, and a gentleman who injured his back uh, multiple times, and uh, they were just grilling me for all the details and, and hoping that I didn't know what was going on. And you proved them wrong. I proved them wrong, but it was painful. One of the attorneys wanted me to read my report paragraph by paragraph. He kept asking me questions that were right in the report. The other attorney was turning colors, like mostly red. Well, correct me, if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, Doc, but when, when you, you are paid as a consultant by the hour at a higher rate when you are on the stand testifying, so I'm sure it was fine by you. This wasn't one of those flat rate deals, right? It was an hourly consultancy, correct? Well, the problem was it was a deposition, so I wasn't in court. They paid me for one hour, and they took two. Got it. Well, you're going to have to bill them for extra. That's why you take a retainer when you're doing depots. Everybody knows you got to do. We got to. You and I, we got to talk, Doc. When you're expert witnessing, you have to take a substantial retainer in advance because you never know what can happen in a depot. Unfortunately, in this particular case involved workers' compensation, and you can't you can't do a oh, retainer. Yep. Thing. Oh, you were representing the government? Uh, sort of. Yeah, that's a that's uh, you know that's a, rookie, that's a rookie error right there. You want to be on the other side of the team, <laughs> you know. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes they they try to make you an offer you can't refuse, and you're stupid enough to I say, think, "Okay, I'll." Do no, that. I'm, yeah. If they're keeping you oh. busy, that's another thing. Well, sometimes you, sometimes <laughs> you, it's, it's, it's like hook, no, it's like you hook the retainer. Oh, it's like, yeah, I'll take the money right now, but God damn it, I'm going to hate myself in the morning. <laughs> yes. Doc why, Doc, why are you not in the United Club or the Admirals Club? That's a good question. I've never liked flying United Airlines, unless I'm going overseas. Well, then uh, join the Admirals Club. That's what you're doing. I have to look into that. Yeah. I have to I look think, into that. I think you would like it. You know why? Uh, Free open, free open bar, place to charge your phone, find your showers. Uh, it's really, it's the, it's the, it's the ultimate way to travel. I don't know. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check that out. I, I do know that United is great for flying overseas, where where the first class seats will 
convert to a bed if you sleep. There's, there's I, no. I, I believe I believe, doctor, the United has the best doctor relations team in, in, the, in the world. <laughs> there, just ask Doctor Dow. <laughs> I don't know. Four out of five doctors recommend United. The fifth guy gets the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> 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 Actually, I just, I just flew uh, Korean Air to Bangers, and uh, I had a lay flat bed in business class. It was just beautiful. But I have flown United uh, to Asia also, and it's really very lovely. So I, I personally I like United quite a bit, but you got American also. The key is if you if you can sleep if you can sleep on on those long flights, there's no jet lag. Well, that's yes. true. But you know what the key the key to that key turns out to be, in my opinion, is is when you're flying to Asia, fly out in the morning, and when you're flying home from Asia, fly fly out of Asia at night. Because then your biorhythms, your circadian rhythms are all in harmony with the direction you're flying. But if you reverse that, if you fly out of Asia in the morning, you're never going to sleep, regardless of whether you have business class or so, fly to Asia in the morning and you fly from Asia at night. If you do that, it's so much easier to sleep. I think you're right. Oh. I think that's what we did, and you're right. That's the truth. So, did you guys already do your fist watch check? Yes, yes, actually, we're speaking of that there, $5 super chat. I'm wearing my, I'm wearing this to court. I am wearing the reverso. I think that's a lovely, wonderful idea. Mark, it's understated, you, but it makes a statement at the same exactly. time. Exactly. Mark, he's wearing the 16013 Datejust two-tone. That's an interesting bezel. That's a very interesting bezel. It's not like a lot of the fluted bezels I've seen. It's quite. It is a fluted bezel, though, isn't it? Yes, different, but it's slightly, more different, subtle. slightly different pattern to what I'm used to. I'll tell you, this watch was trashed, literally trashed, because I wore it for... What are you wearing, Doc? I'm wearing Gloria. And Clive is, what are you wearing? Show what you're wearing, Clive. Can I have a look at the oh. gemstone in the side, oh, Clive? Yeah. And the back, please, Clive. What size is that? It takes an 18 mil strap. It's, it's if there's one thing that Archie knows, it's the straps. A little bit. <laughs> it's a postage theme. But it's encased. Exactly. I got a, what are you I buying? Got a mildly, Sorry. I got a mildly nice little surprise today. Oh, that's a cute little quarter. A little worn out, but that's a silver one. Is that a pre, is it a pre 1960? 1942. The thing Maybe, is, wow. though, I was, I, was, I was putting all my change in the uh, receptacle and plunk, plunk, plunk. When you, say, plunk. when you say receptacle, are you talking about the condom machine at the gas station? What receptacle? Do I look like Don Haynes? No. <laughs> Don Haynes owning con those condoms, I'm sure, are expired. What does he have condoms for? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, no, actually, but, the, but the silver coins actually have a different sound than the later ones with uh, with bronze uh, cores to them. So they're they're higher pitched. So I was th throwing all the change and I heard the higher plink, plunk, 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 plink. So that's kind of nice. I just figured yeah, out those are those are valuable. I just figured out why Don has condoms. Why? He puts one on when he wants to feel like he's cheating himself. Oh, 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 oh. oh I, I sent him a, I, uh, I actually sent him a copy of the lake, though, guys. Is that what he switches uh, Hey, guys, it's uh, 10 o'clock here. Are you guys about ready to knock it off, or are you going to go ahead and just say adieu? And... What happened to the pontiff? I'm here. I'm uh, here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. i got to have another beer in a minute. Everything's cool. Keep talking. Yeah. The bucks okay. are coming in. See well, you I'm later, Clive. Of... I love you, Clive. Do you be happy? I love you. Please, you, too. Um, you oh, hey, just uh, take it easy, man. It's all cool. Oh, uh, real quick, Doc. What do you think about the Zenith Surf? I think I think it's nice. I don't think it's as nice as your fifteen thirty. 
yeah well yeah obviously but yeah so that's kind of obvious but it's a nice beater compared to your 1530. paul i got exactly. a, I, I got a question for paul paul if you had to wear if you had to wear clive's gold oh my god that's a scary what just happened hello there <laughs> oh boy donnie you've answered me i'm so glad to see you donnie <laughs> So glad to see it. Time's up, bitches. <laughs> Don well, later, Clive. Haynes. Don Haynes. Don Haynes. Welcome back, yeah. Donnie. Missed you. Oh. <laughs> so my question Hi, is, guys. How are you? My question Look is. Look what I got. Oh. <laughs> yes. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Paul, would you rather <laughs> okay, wear, Yes. Yes, Marky. Would, would you rather wear Clive's gold cased uh Cartier or my ball for like one day? I think I'll take the ball. <laughs> I'll take the ball. So, the, so you're gonna wear my ball. I just yeah. wanted to double check that. So yeah. my ball, my ball has as as the pontiff seal of approval over the Cartier. Just yeah. double check. Yeah, yeah. We are talking watches right now, right? We are indeed. It's a Swiss ball. Don, I got a question for Don Haynes. What? My question is: Are your condoms expired? What is the expiration date on your condom box? Best no, you they're not. Uh, so oh, 2012. No. Here it is. Let's let's see. Can you I can't. See? No, I can't see. Can't we just read it for us? See this thing? Okay, here it is. Oh, it expired in 01. No, 2020. All right, that's good. Right well, that's there good. in the end, in the corner. You see that? How many are in the box, Donnie? Ten. <laughs> How many so were there? For 2020. The How many were there yeah. when you bought the box? Ten. <laughs> 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 you know, the date stamp looks like a redial. I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Archie. Archie, you look like you have an MRI machine. Is that a light box or an MRI machine? It's a light box. Light box, light box, light box. It, it looks a little bit like a, looks a, looks a, little bit like a cat skin. Well, so, Mark, you must, are you also a veterinarian? I, no, I'm a dog trainer. I, I know, I just, but you... I play a veterinarian on TV. But you spit out a lot of medical... I'm very knowledgeable. Dr. I have, Morgan, I have so. a happy pill. I told you I went to medical school. Did you see my happy pill? I did. My college, oh, right. roommate, my college roommate is a plastic surgeon, and I went through medical school with him, but I audited it. I have a happy pill. I don't. Please don't push that button, or we're going to have to ban you again. Don't push what the button. Mark, 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 look at my screen. <laughs> well, I can't tell. What am I looking at? What did you What did you study in college, Mark? Well, I was a double major in English and Spanish, and then I a triple major in useless knowledge. Minor in American history, doubled in English, and then also in Spanish. I did. I I got into law school, but I audited medical school. So I'm a, I, I am a font of useless knowledge. Before the internet, I was like, I felt really smart. After the internet, well, Google knows more than me. <laughs> so you were basically the Google of your day. I was the, yeah, I come from a long line of Googles. Like my whole, all the male Goldbergs were like uh, experts in a lot of, you know, masters of, uh, experts in many trades, masters of many. Um, that's me. educated Goldberg. Uh, Alexa, who is Mark Goldberg? He's a porn star. Football club manager. Huh, you're an English football club uh, player and manager. I'm also a porn star, apparently, but it's not me, sadly. I got a fidget spinner. <laughs> cool. Very good, Don. Yes, we know. He's a good boy, that's maybe, all. Maybe that's you where the condom comes in. All right. <laughs> Hey, Doc, uh, who's the guy with the Daytona? Doc, do you think you could identify, you know, whatever it is we call mental retardation these days? Could you, like, identify that over the phone? Or is that kind of like the, the Goldwater rule? 
Well, I wouldn't be able to do it officially. Obviously, but you need to. But unofficially, <laughs> there are indications. <laughs> like, <laughs> really? There's a spectrum, right? Where we could be on the spectrum. Yeah. There are indications, yes. Yeah, Let's you. see. I have, an, I have a master's degree in business administration with a concentration in finance and a bachelor of arts in political science and uh, economics. Yeah, a lot of very smart people are stone cold batshit crazy. Just, you know, I'll be right back because the dog just shit on the floor. So I'm going to go clean that up, but I'll be right back. Oh. He's making aren't fun of me for to, being a retard. Aren't you supposed to reprimand when that happens? I thought you were supposed to shove his nose in it, aren't you? Something like that. He, he knows better than us what to do, but you're supposed to do something other than clean it up for him. I think, I think that defeats the purpose. Mm. So I have a question. Are you really going to take care of those lesions, let's call them, the skin tags? Let's well, call I them. think it's about time I did something about it. I've left it for so long. I may as well do something about it. If I've got a fan, have, I know that I know that you have plenty of fans that want you to take care of it, but at the same time, it happens to be a place. It's a place at the hairline where it's not incredibly noticeable. I see. So, what would you do? Leave it or to cut them out, Doc? I, I probably would. I probably would uh, have a doctor look at at removing them. Plastic I'll be surgeon to minimize. How would you remove such large ones? Do they have to like suture the skin back together? Will there be a scar? Well, that's the reason for going to a plastic surgeon. So the plastic surgeon can figure out whether the pedicle has a diameter such that they need to do something. What's the different. cheapest way to cut the fuckers off, Doc? Dental floss. Uh, Swiss knife is absolutely the cheapest. I see. Okay. But I think a plastic surgeon is the best way. How about a normal GP? Can't he do it? Possibly. No. If it was on your if it was on your leg, you could let your GP do it. If it was on your Doctor, leg or some places. You know how you do a flap, Doc, and then you swing it down, but it's connected by the pedicle, which is the blood supply, you, you know, when you're when you're bringing down a flap. I mean So don't I, tell me you've done that too. Well, of course I have, but what but I'm saying a dollar ninety nine oh. super chat from Ryan McGill. Estimate how long it takes Archie to do a paid review. They're coming, guys. They're coming. No one's forgotten. I'm just, I'm just working he, on them. He has a he has a court case that can't be discussed, but it is slowing things down a bit. Doctor, uh, were there any good ladies on the plane you got to sit next to or chat up? Uh. Yes and no. Yes, there were a few, and no, I didn't get to sit next to them. You flew business class or economy? Um, sometimes I actually, the plane I was on, it was either first class or coach. And oftentimes, because I'm 6'4", it's actually more comfortable sitting in the exit row than sitting in first class. Wow. Wow. So, I took my chances and I think I got it right. I sat in the exit row and I actually had more leg room than first class when I was coming on. I took a look and I was quite quite fine with that. How long was the flight? Oh, just like two hours, not bad. No. Not bad at all. Could be much worse. So we got we got Don playing with fidget sprinters. We got Mark cleaning dog shit up, and what the doctor is talking me about first class. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> now we have a question about we have a question about when the dog craps on the floor there in the house. Should you shove his nose Isn't in there it? Isn't something? Don't you supposed to, to shove his yeah, nose yeah. in it? That's what you do with well. the, that's what you do with the children and their nappies. The dog. Uh, Crapped on a pad. I have a pad out. She's 14 years old. She's pretty old now, so she doesn't hold her. Oh wow! As she used to, and so I put a pad out for her. And uh, what's a pad? It's a wee wee. It's a, it's like a, a puppy like pad. A newspaper. You know, it's like the uh, yeah, it's plastic. I don't know. So the dog shit it on that. It's a special shit. <laughs> yes. So it's not like it's. 
You said that you said that the dog crapped on the floor. It's not really. The dog crapped on the pad that's on the floor. That, that would be more technical. So the dog did. The dog did what it was supposed to do. It went on the pad. Well, if I'm going to be completely honest, the, the last turd landed off the pad because she sort of she kind of walked. Well, she like walked it off. You know. <laughs> oh, nice one. Kind of hit the dirt, and I had to go take care of business. But honestly, if 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 that dog is 14 years old, you're fortunate that she can walk. It's so true. You know, what? I'm not kidding. Listen, I got another one. I got another one who has eaten shit. But he's 14 years old. And I got another one who's eaten poop, you know, like his whole life. And let me tell you something. Some people ask me, don't you want to stop him from doing that? And I'm saying, you can't even train a dog to eat his own shit. That's like a gift. If you get one like that, you want to clone him. You, I almost never have to clean up the yard. <laughs> it's also it's also something to think of. Recycling. It's a beautiful thing. You don't want to watch it, you know. So what I do is I let him out into the yard and close the door because I can't stand to watch it. And I don't kiss him. But other, but it's like <laughs> you can't teach a dog to do that. That is a gift, right? That's a gift from God. That's true. That's, just, that's the ultimate in cleanup. Sure. I'm going to pursue that. Also, there might be there might be longevity involved in that process. Well, uh, I got to say, years old. longevity comes from I suspect what I feed my guys. I kind of sort of cook for them a little bit. So, what do you make for them? Well, this morning, you know, I'll be honest with you. I am. I, I think kibble, which is to say, dried croutons of dog food, is that's killing dogs. We have more cancer and we have more diabetes. In, and, and allergies in dogs today, like a thousand times more than I remember when I was a kid growing up in the 70s. I was involved heavily in dogs eating that. Dogs just did not come here. So, do Mark, Mark, tell me this with dogs. Do you feed them canned food or, 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 or biscuits are better? What's better to feed them? Well, biscuits, as we call in this country, kibble, is uh, that's like death in the bag. You're better off with high quality canned dog food, um, which I supplement with a lot of human food. So, my dogs today had a couple spoons of canned yeah. dog food. What about the uh, the vegan dog food? They got uh, spinach. So, that was this morning. That was today's chicken, beef, and dog food. So, what about vegan dog food? We had an inquiry, Mark. Uh, you know, I, I really want to mock it. It seems illogical. But I have a friend who dogs and they live. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, it, although it shouldn't work, at least for this one girl who I know, her dogs live like quite long, like like Doberman Pinschers living to 13, 14 years old, and that's unheard of. They're usually dead anywhere between 9 and 11. So, you know, to get a Doberman up to 14, 13, it's kind of extraordinary. And she's done it repeatedly on vegan no, dog food. Vegan, vegan dog food. Yeah, every day, uh, what is vegan dog food? It's vegetables for dogs, is it? What's no. like vegan dog food? We might live longer. I'm not a big proponent. Well, I, maybe we should eat vegan dogs. They don't eat too many dogs in Thailand, but they do in Vietnam. So you got to be a little careful what you're eating when you go to. I was in Ho Chi Minh City for uh, almost a week. That it's chicken, just, isn't it? There's hormones in the chicken, and there's hormones in the dog. So you just got to. Actually, it's, it's, well, it's interesting, though. That you serious? Those kibbles are no good. Those biscuits are no good. Well, you know, here's the theory, uh, and this isn't my theory, this is really out there among people who have studied it, that um, uh, in order to make biscuits, they have got to make, they've got to use a lot of carbohydrate. Even grain-free biscuits contain a lot of carbohydrate because they're using starch from potato and sweet potato and pumpkin and uh, That's tomato. what I eat. That's what I eat. <laughs> yeah, but you eat it in, but the human digestive system is better able to handle carbs and you're not eating only carbs. Like you had tonight your dinner consisted of protein and carbs. Your, and your carbs were root vegetables, so those are going to have a low glycemic index. They're going to convert to sugar slowly. The kind of stuff that we're feeding our dogs is high in carbohydrate with a high glycemic index, which is to say it converts fairly readily and quickly to sugars, and it's killing our dogs. That's what's happening. So if you think back, 
if you look at lifespan of dogs in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, they were living at least 30% longer than they live today. Here's an idea, though, too. So, <coughs> reducing caloric intake. Dog food, it's extremely cheap and convenient to feed, but it's just not good for you. Well, what's your view on puppy farms? They're bad. On the one hand, on the other hand, the puppies that come out of them were not there for more than a month, five, six weeks at the most. So it's the mother dogs that you got to feel sorry for because they're, they're there for a long time. So large scale breeding operations for dogs, it's a shame and I don't think people should buy puppies that come from puppy farms. But they do and I train them and often they're lovely dogs, but it's just a shame for the mothers that get stuck living there for years, you know, because it's not, it's not a nice environment. So, so, so where should you buy dogs from? Well, you know, you're better off going to get them out of a shelter, or if you want a purebred dog, that's fine. I have nothing against that. I love purebred dogs. I've had them over the years. You should find a small breeder who has really been involved in that breed for years for the love of the breed. Somebody who has, like, Border Collie and breeds two, three, four times a year, not, you know, 30 times a year. There's more quality. There's more care. There's a more boutique. It's a, it's a more careful operation. How much does a good now, what dog do you, what do you think of purebred dog how much does a good dog want well, that, that's going to depend an awful lot on the breed anywhere between a thousand and three thousand dollars i would say what's the most expensive breed now you know bulldogs are english bulldogs are really expensive because they've got those giant massive heads and every one of them none of them can fit through the mother's birth canal so all bulldogs are born by cesarean section and that's all expensive they have small litters and stuff so the, probably one of the more expensive breeds that you could buy would be a would be an english bulldog so, so if you don't have the cesarean, what happens then? How does the dog come out? They don't. Mom dies. So they're all born by cesarean section. You're joking. No, I'm quite serious. It's we, fucking it's, awful. Yeah, it is awful. How is it possible a breed like that could exist if they can't be born naturally? Well, that's Would a they really have died by now? It's a lot they like can. The chickens. They, they can, but genetically not. manipulated very, very different from what they looked like 100 years ago. And um, so the answer is they were not allowed to develop like that naturally. Darwin would have, you know, prohibited it. They would have all died. We wouldn't have bulldogs that looked like that. And 100 years ago, they didn't. But the breeders of bulldogs have accentuated the, the huge stocky front and the giant jowly head. Uh, they have bred for that. What they've done is they've permitted it. Right? So um, the answer is that this is... Man-made genetic manipulation, just like chickens that grow so fast that they can't even walk on their own legs. It's a genetic manipulation. Wow. So, um, um, okay, fair enough there. So, what's the uh, you like mutts better than purebreds, or what's the go on that? I think purebred dogs. There's a real place for pure. Look, right now I have. One mutt and one purebred. So I have one of each. Um, I, I love mutts because you never know what you're going to get. They're always different. And when, when one, you know, when you lose one, and they're unique. You know, a mutt is so unique. You're never going to be able to recreate the same dog. You get one. Whatever he is, you know, my, my, my mutt tippy, I'll never be able to replace him. He's a unique, quirky dog who's fun and smart. And uh, he's a weird mix. And I'll never find one like him. My dog Scooter, um, she's a rat terrier. I know exactly what she is. And she's there's only one Scooter, but if I go get another rat terrier, I will be able to recreate the experience that I had with her. So uh, a lot of people like having some consistency. Like one golden retriever to the next, they're going to look a lot alike. They're going to have behavior tendencies that are similar, but they're going to be unique. You know, they're, what they're dogs do you hate, Mark? What dogs do you hate? Ooh. Hey, I don't really hate. I don't really hate dogs. Dislike, <laughs> less less favorable. Well, you know there are some breeds that are specifically developed as uh, really really heavy guard dog, bred to fight human beings. And um, so the Pressa Canaria that comes to mind. There's a couple of the the Cane Corsa. These are breeds of dogs that are bred to the. Um, uh, uh, the South African Borble or Mastiff. These are dogs that are bred to take down human beings. Now there is a purpose. The Ofcharka is a Russian dog used to guard prisons. Um, these are dogs which were never intended to be in subdivisions with little kids running all around. And um, so it's not that it's a bad dog, but when people put them in the wrong situation and expect them to behave like a golden retriever, usually bad things happen.
So what do you think about pit bulls? You can be successful with any of them if you know what you're doing, but all too often people buy them because they got inky, pinky, winky syndrome, and they're compensating. So they, they buy these really powerful breeds, and treat them just like they're little babies, and, and then those dogs often get into terrible trouble and wind up euthanized, which is unfair and a shame to the dog. Starts with the people, but I. So it's not the dogs that I dislike. It's when people buy the wrong breed to compensate for small Johnsons. I think that's that's. that's bad. Should 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 most people spray their dogs? Spray spray you know, spay, as in yes. spay. Yes. Yeah, we don't call it spray. <laughs> spray is what you do with a hose. Okay. Or a doc. Fix like, the fucker. Spray spray <laughs> spray right. Dr. Bruce will explain about the enlarged prostate and the certain amount of spraying that, that starts to happen to men in, in their post 40s. But uh, should most people do it? Probably. It keeps the population down. But you got to be careful not to do it too early or you rob the dog of needed testosterone and other, other, other oxytocin and other hormones which work to close the growth plates on the bones. So it's, the answer is yeah, most people maybe should, but you don't want to do it too early. How, what age should you do it at? Well, that's a real controversy. Vets cannot agree, even veterinarians cannot agree on that. Me personally, I believe the larger the breed, the longer you should wait. So if it's a giant breed, if you can get away with it behaviorally, two to three years. If it's a smaller breed, one year. But those are just rules. They're just rules of thumb. So, you know, like if you have a German Shepherd, let's say, this is a dog not giving you any trouble, and you can wait till that dog is two years old, there's benefit for waiting. I, so hey, what happened, what's, you the, wait? what's the background noise? Do you have the TV on, Mark? No. There's a lot of there's a lot of digital feedback coming in. Yeah, is that from me or is that from Dr. Bruce? Because I'm not hearing airport noise anymore. Oh, that's for me. Yeah, I got no noise. I'm going out. Yeah, but Bruce, you sound fine. Oh, Bruce just left us. Don's muted. Yeah, so, I don't know who it is. I want to ask you this. What, what, he's left. He's gone to sleep. He's gone. Do you, do you do anything with cats? Can you can you train cats? You know, I have a cat, and uh, I'm terrible with cats. You can't I, I train like, cats. They're like women. You can't tell them what to do. Kind of true. I, I, I love my cat, but I, I can't. Exactly Is it true? Is it true? You got to give the dog a bit of discipline. You got to be. You got to. The dog has to know who's master. Is that true or not? Well, let's not exaggerate it. You know you. You don't have to beat up on the dog, but they do like me. Uh, we have a super chat for our call. Last dragon. Can you guys hear me? Ronnie Paul wants to know if I have thoughts on the American Cocker Spaniel. He's a nice breed of dog, but um, they're not as popular as they are. Back in the 50s and 60s, they were like the most popular breed in America. When I get them, if I if I, if I, if I because they're uh, biting people <laughs> or they're in all over the house, so if you're gonna have a problem with a cocker. Usually, it's gonna be biting. If you don't have that problem. What's the dumbest dog, Mark? Dumbest dog you know? Dumbest well, you know, a friend of mine, Dr. Stanley Korn, wrote a book called The Intelligence of Dogs, and by the measurable standard that he used, the Afghan hound is the dumbest dog. But I don't think that's fair because they're bred to run down, you know, rabbits in the desert. So if you want to, you know, the it's so loud right now. There's so much feedback. So can you still not hear me? I think it's on your end. I can't. Yeah, it's on your end, doctor. Can you mute your microphone? I may just have to go out then because uh, sorry, I'm Doc. still at an airport here. Sorry. So I'll take off. And uh, Doc, we love you. Don't disappear very, on me. Doc, if I'm not here next week, you know I'm inside. In the slammer, in the big house. Well, at least you're ready for it. See you later, Doc. I'd like to talk to the audience briefly. If we're going to stay up late here in the United States, we're going to need a little super chat money. It's it, in Dom Payne's time zone. It's eleven thirty, and in mine, it's ten thirty p.m. We're going to need a little super chat money if it's worth our while to stay up. Now, why I say that, I don't know, because it all goes to Archie. But we're trying to support the plaintiff in his quest to remain, to remain free. So, ask. Uh, let's 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 see some colored super chats come up here, please, gentlemen. So, Mark, I want to ask you, what's the uh, smartest breed of dog? Again, according to the measurement that, that was used, that was the border collie. 
They bite. They're vicious fuckers, aren't they, the Border Collies? Well, you know, uh, they can be a bit sharp if you don't train them well. Yeah, they can be nippy. Vicious, vicious fuckers? I, no, typically they're not. But, you know. Have you been bitten by many dogs yourself, Mark? Uh, you know, uh, right now I got to make the sign of the cross. If I did that right, I got to knock on some wood. I have to thank, you know, Allah and praise baby Jesus. Because uh, the answer to that question is, I have been bitten, but not a lot and not badly. I'm afraid to say it, so I'm chetoy, sign of the evil eye. I have been bitten, but not badly. Um, and there are reasons for that. And they, one of them is I'm fast and I'm and I'm a coward, so I don't work with, uh, you know, dogs that are likely to bite me. I take precautions. Tell me this. It is lesson. because you have what the your... reflexes of a cat and the speed of a mongoose. What's the uh, what's your opinion on Lassie? Mark? Oh, I wanted Lassie so bad when I was a kid. That's all I wanted. <laughs> I wanted Lassie so bad. And in fact, my first dog was a Shetland Sheepdog, which looks a lot like a Collie, except for they're small. And, uh, and I had a Collie. I had a, I had a gorgeous Collie. Let me, let me, I'll show you a picture of my Collie. Eventually, I grew up and, and was able to... Here's $2 on six months probation, Jamie. Ooh. That can go right into your canteen. Thank you. you buy Doritos with that. So tell me this, Mark. Um, you're saying that the the border you had a you had, oh five dollars. What's the best dog for a guy living in an apartment? I can walk it every day. Uh, your Great Dane, Great Dane. I would say. What do you think, Don? I would say York. I would say I had a cockapoo that was pretty darn smart, Isabella, and uh, it was hypoallergenic. She never gave any problems. The downside is, is she needed her ears cleaned like every couple days or every week. They would get like full of crap. Hey, hey, Doc. Hey, sorry, can Mark. See, can you see my collie? Can you see him there? You see what's on his head? Oh, he was a wow. coke. coke. My collie was a coke head. He hey, had a problem. Mark. Uh, oh, yes. he's Coca Cola. Mark, is there yes. any dog, any dog that eats carpet beetles? Yes, that would be the rare carpet beetle terrier. Um, they're very expensive. I can ship one to Australia, three thousand dollars. Why are we talking about Actually, dogs? You know what? Um, <laughs> on a serious note, in this country, everybody loves dogs, Donnie. That's why we are training. I don't like them. We are training. That tells you something about your character and personality. Except for that cockapoo you had, and I don't know if you like the caca or the poo more. But we are training uh, beagles to detect bed bugs in hotels. You joking? No, beagles can, can smell a from a mile away. So we have been, they, they're all uh, ser uh, serving. There's, there's nothing wrong with my personality, Mark. It's called allergies, bro. Kaka poo. Well, Aller you know, allergies. The kaka poo is a hypoallergenic poo. Anyway. Yeah, that's why I had one. You're a special little, you're a special delicate snowflake, Donnie. Hey, so tell me oh. this. So tell me this. Um, um, Lassie, how many Lassies, 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 did, they Lassies, Lassies did they have? How many did they have? Oh, like six or seven. And Lassie was always a male dog, by the way. She was portrayed as a female, but she was she was always a male. Uh, Max Levinson has sent me a uh, text and has said to tell Don his fidget spinner is killing off my brain cells. Now, now that I've said that, I know Don is just gonna like up his fidget spinner game. Max, you're 13. Do you not know that you have a maturity level far exceeding Don Haynes' maturity level? So don't tell him what to do or he's just going to make it worse, my theory. So tell yep. me this. So tell me this. Mark. Mark. Um, um, any other dog any other that, dog you, liked as that you liked as a kid? Hmm. Do you remember the incredible journey where the two dogs and a cat had to travel across yep. the continent? Yep. Yeah. We cried. How about Old Yeller? We, you know. What about Falcor? Too. Remember I like Falcor. It was the big yellow mutt who had to who had to fend off the, the rabid bear. You know, he fought the wolf or whatever it was that had rabies, so it wouldn't eat the little kid. But then what? they had to fucking shoot what? Old Yeller because he got rabies. Now, now, tell me this. <laughs> tell me this. What is as what far is, as the dog uh, training dog goes? Dog training goes. Yeah. Do you charge do you a fee charge like, a like fee? to stop my like dog, to stop shooting, my on dog shooting on the floor? Or do you charge? Do you charge a fee for a session? For like a session, six like months training. Six months training. Yeah, it's more like that. Okay. I have a dog with okay. me right now. I do have a dog with me right now for six months. I have a, uh, you know, a client of mine purchased a puppy, 
and then decided she would like me to raise that puppy for her. So I'm doing that. Oh, that well, why would you do that? Well, why would you do that? I don't know. Ask her. But how much do you charge? How much do you charge for that? I don't even want to tell you. <laughs> Does it pay for a cat? One hundred million dollars. I'll tell you off air. <laughs> We'll talk about this off. Here we go. Five dollar super, super chat. Five dollar super chat. Mark, Mark, I'm interested in American I'm interested cocker. In American cocker. I live in apartments. I live in apartments. Is it really going to be a really pain? Be a pain. Why are you talking like you were in Bangkok? <laughs> I I interested in American. I live in apartment. Um, uh, yeah, you can get a cocker. It's no, it's not going to be a pain. You just have to walk it and train it to, you know, like not bark because that's the key thing to like not let it bark a lot. Because I deal with a lot of apartment dwellers whose dogs bark too much and then they get evicted from their apartments due to noise complaints. So people who live in apartments or condos can be very successful with dogs, but you, you, you have to the give them adequate dragon. exercise and training. Exercise so they're not, you know, going stir crazy all day and training so they're not barking up a storm and annoying your neighbors. But you certainly could live successfully with a cocker spaniel in an apartment. Yes, you could. Matter okay. of fact, you might okay. get an older one. I want to ask you. My ask neighbor you, my has got neighbor a has got a electric charge electric around, charge the, around the, dog's the, neck the dog's neck to yeah. stop it barking. Yeah. Stop it barking. Oh yeah. Does that yeah. work? Does that work? Well, that's called a bark collar, and yeah, typically it works. Yeah. Do you approve of that or not? Do you approve of that or not? Well, okay. We're getting we're getting into the weeds. We're getting it's getting thick here, but let's just put it like this. Excessive barking is usually a behavior driven by boredom and frustration. So I believe in providing the dog with adequate training and exercise and playtime so that it has no legitimate boredom and frustration problems. And if it is then barking excessively anyway, merely out of habit, then yeah, okay, it's fair. At that point it's fair. But to just suppress barking and to do that in instead of providing the right, you know, environment and treatment for your dog, no, that's not right. So, so, so what should I do so, then? So every time, do the, every son time bitch, the son of a bitch of a dog of sees a dog me, he sees starts, me, growling, and starts and growling and barking. Should I throw, should I throw some gimmicks some over the gimmets fence? Over the fence? What should I, I would, do? Uh, what should I do? Well, I mean, isn't that up to his owner to handle that problem? You know. But I mean, it annoys me. The boss is growling at me. Growling at me. Okay, did you have a leg of lamb in the oven earlier today? Yes. Yes. Where's the shank bone? Give it to the dog. Give bone. it to the dog. There you go. I'll keep him busy for an hour. Should I ask, the owner, should I ask the owner about? Yeah, you might. <laughs> he might not like it, but. Does it do yeah, anything wrong? Does it do anything wrong to the dog? Only if you get lucky. Only speaking dog. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. tell me this: there's well, a lot of money in dogs. Money in dogs. There's a lot of money in any successful endeavor. I, I would say the average dog trainer is is poverty stricken, as is the average YouTuber. You are at the top of your game, my friend. So am I. That's you know. Yeah, that's yeah. why I've got that's carpet I've got beetles got and, and a Honda Civic. Five year, ten year old, ten year old set Honda Civic. Set Honda Civic. Well, yes, but you're living you're living the dream. You're you're not going to a cubicle with fluorescent lights every day, and you're not wading deep in garbage. So there is a bright side to this. Okay, so you're okay, the so you're, you're one of the best you're dog one of the best dog trainers in America. Trainers in America. I like to think so. I wrote a book. It's called Let Dogs Be Dogs. So if you if you'd like to read my book, it's in bookstores now. Highly regarded. Highly regarded. Professional. Professional. Have you had any celebrities, had any contact, celebrities you? contact you? I, I, well, yeah, I've trained a couple few dogs for people who are kind of known here, local celebrities, especially a like couple who? TV people. Like who? And, um, I don't know as I don't know as you'd know any of these people, but um, there's a TV show called Empire on CBS. I've trained a dog for a couple of the actors on that show. Um, somebody who was playing for the Chicago Bulls, which is our NBA basketball team. I trained a uh, you know dog for the Bulls. How about a president? How about a president for Doug Trumpy? Yeah, no, I have not. However, you know what? Obama um, from Chicago Bob trained a dog for President Reagan and had his mm. picture taken with mm. President Reagan. So I think that's very cool. Mm. Mm. Yeah, very, very I cool. loved Reagan. I loved Reagan. Yeah, Reagan had a uh, Bouvier, which had to be given away because it was yanking Nancy down the, you know, yanking Nancy all over the, the White House and almost took Ronnie down. So uh, even though Bob trained the Bouvier, the Bouvier went away, and then they wound up with uh, King Cavalier Charles Spaniels, which the Bushes, of course, also kept. And that was a much smaller dog, easier for them to handle.
They're not very intelligent. They're not very intelligent. King, they're being, King Charles King Cavalier Charles Spaniels. Spaniels. Yeah, I think it depends on what you teach them. I, I don't think it's a – it's not a dog who volunteers to go out and do a brain surgery. It's not. <laughs> Um, Have you ever seen a dog do brain surgery, Mark? I, I, they're charming little dogs. Do you do much with reptiles? Do you do much with reptiles? <laughs> no. Only dogs? Only dogs? Okay. I, only dog. I, I, I wanna, know one species. My friend wants a pet no. tiger. I got to say, I'm a bit afraid of spiders, and I'm not very fond of reptiles either. But I don't like what spiders. About, what, what about, about pet tigers? Pet tigers. That's a that's a feline. I'm not too good with cats. Is it is it possible to keep a tiger as a pet without a killing you? I think you need a permit, don't you? And what yeah, about a pet? Like, like the ones that like maul like you? you? Did I ever tell you I lived in New Jersey? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I used to right. So I used to live in Jersey. I lived in North Jersey, and when I lived there, about a mile and a half away from my house was a zoo, a private zoo. And they had tigers, but I don't know what kind nice. of permits. They eventually, nice. it got it got closed. But you used to be able to go pet the tigers. Did you ever train Did dogs for Tony Soprano? Tony Soprano. Uh, what was his name? The actor uh, James Gandolfini. No man, I would have loved to. I would have been a little afraid, you know that. Uh, I love been, James. I love James Gandolfini. Could have been like two to the back of the head if you did it wrong. I love that I'm show. Him off I love that off hey, hey, boy, he's going to train the bulldog. Remember when they took Big Pussy on that fishing trip? Ah, oh, I, 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 I used it on my channel. I used it on my channel. I used it on my channel. Yeah. That, that's like one of my favorite things when they took Big Pussy fishing. Yeah. And Big yeah. Pussy, he didn't come back. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Look at they shot him. Look at they that? shot him. You know that? Yeah, they did. They and had a drink before they shot him, but. They, shot him, but. they had to. And then they, uh, they tied him down with uh, uh, cinder blocks. Then they. <laughs> They, they big Pussy, because Big Pussy was an informant. He was. But he, he said was. to Tony, don't, don't worry. I got these guys got eating, these out, guys of my eating hand. out of my hand. <laughs> don't shoot me in the <laughs> face so it's fast to recognize you're going to funeral. Big Big. Paul, of all your watches, oh. and I'm going to ask Don oh, the same thing. I know if you can't refuse. Turning it back to watches for a quick second, Paul. How you doing? Mm -hmm. God forbid the house catches fire. You can only save one. The boat is going down. You have one life jacket for one watch. What is the one watch out of the current collection that you grab? Panic! Panic! The world time. That's a pretty obvious one. Now, let's say you were able to rebuy one of your old watches, but only one. Would it be the Calatrava? Which, which of your old watches would you take back if you could? At retail, At or, what retail I sold or what I sold it for? Mm, let's just say you could give back the money you got and get back one and only one. Would it be the the? Would it be oh, that explorer? I, I, I sold the Calatrava for, for a profit. I made a fortune. Yeah. I made a fortune. So what are you taking back? I take the fucking well, well, like IWC pilot but watch. But what I'm looking for though, actually, is I. I, I it, it turned economic, and I didn't mean it to. The one that you sold that you loved the most, that you would like for sentimental reasons to have back. Archie doesn't the have sentimental doesn't reasons. It's Archie only cares about Which money. Watch. He doesn't have a soul. You missed remember? the watch, the 1016 the most. 1016. I got married first time. Had two kids had with two it. Kids with it. Mm. Archie only cares about I money. I love that watch. The Explorer. And uh, Don, what, out, of, out of the current money. collection, do you love that GMT more than anything? Which is your favorite one, Donnie? Um, my Jango La Culture of Rizzo. That's a hell of a nice watch. And then, have you sold? Have you ever sold a watch? What have you sold? Yep. Yep. I sold. Uh, I sold. Uh, the Steiner. I my heart selling my IWCs. I had a Portofino and a 3777 seven, 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 a pilot watch. A pilot watch. They were both really good. Both kept really great time. But I sold them to get the Rolex and the JLC. I also had a two-day flat bay I sold. And that kind of hurt. And that kind of hurt. Which one do you miss the most? That you sold? What do you what do you, what did you and sell? I also had, had, had uh, uh, Omega uh, Seamaster. Uh, Omega Seamaster. That Megan bought that for Megan me. Megan bought for me. With an ETA or a I newer one? That. I sold that. How is Megan with the twenty five hundred D movement? How is Megan? How is Megan by the way? 
Oh, uh, she's going full uh, she's retard. Going full and retard and like, like, and like, like, to like some dudes that's like 15 years, years old or eight, and, and, and they like broke and up. They like broke up, but they didn't break but up. They didn't break up. It's so weird. It's so weird. Has, have you gone back? Have you gone back? No, no. I can't go back. I can't go back. That sounded. That sounded she a little like. Doesn't want to see me. She's like. She's like, like, she's like she took out an order of protection. She does, but she won't like, like actually. Won't like actually function and do it. Function and do it. She's cuckoo she for eating, cocoa puffs. Cocoa puffs. Uh, yeah, theoretically. Uh, yeah, theoretically. Because I got her psychiatrist, I got her psychiatrist help, help and everything. Help and everything. You know. You know. And of course, until of course, like, until, like, like broke, broke up, is when she started up, really getting started better. Really getting better. Because that was the wake up that call. That was the wake up call. John, you, you look, you look, you look emotionally, you look emotional right now. Well, yeah, because well, I yeah, don't because because I, I, I wanted to marry, but then went nuts. Then went nuts. Women have the Women right. Women have the to right change to change their mind at any given moment. Any given moment. And there's no logic and there's behind no it. Logic behind I'm getting it. some vague 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 Hello? Yeah. Hello? Don, Can you hear me? He's, he's muted hear himself me? so we could see. Hey, you know what? I got to go. It's, uh, okay. It's, okay. Bit, okay. it's getting a bit late on my end. I'll answer okay, my guys. own question. Okay, guys. I, uh, I, I, missed the, uh, I missed the Burgundy Bezel Black Bay ETA version with the little happy smiley face. Oh, oh great watch. Great watch. Yeah, and I sold it, and then it shot up in price, and I don't want to buy it back. How like, much are they now? How much are they now? Like three grand. That's not much. That's not much. No, I know, but I sold for it you, for like twenty. For you, for no, you, international dog trainer. It's true, but I sold it for like twenty three hundred dollars. So it's now I gotta pony up, you know, seven hundred dollars more. Mm -hmm. yeah. and what, about, what about what about what about the in house movement one? House movement one. You know what? I, I don't like it as much because the it's the lines are all flat. They changed the dial. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. They use the shield they emblem. They use the shield emblem. Yep. And they're gonna instead of the rose, which was kind of cooler, and they um, they're gonna make that in-house movement forever. Whereas that ETA version, uh, they only made it for a few years, so it, I think it's just a little more interesting. I mean, I know it's odd to prefer an ETA version over an in-house, but in this case, I think the in-house has the quirkier. The quirkier dial. Have you ever had a patek? Have you ever had a patek? I have not, and I don't. I don't deserve. I've often said I don't deserve a patek. Bullshit! Bullshit. You're one of the greatest, You're one men, of the greatest I know. men I know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, I, I, love you. I love you. Yeah. I love you. I love you. Well, you are very kind, and I love you too. But I wear a ball watch. I, horologically, I am not, and, and I just dropped it, and I'm not even worried because it's got shock protection. This is why I can't own a patek. I wear stuff like this. Does a guy who wears something like this with any regularity deserve to wear something that you, you know, that you hold You're over a good future man. generations? You're a good, good man. man. You're a good man. You can, wear, you know, anything you can like. wear anything you like. Do you know, Paul, I was banned from YouTube for 24 hours. Did you for know what? that? For what? Well, you know the Patek, you know the, the, the father with his arm around the son and yes, it says, yes. son, yes, yes. you know, Patek, you never really own it. You know, it's for future generations. Yes. Well, I I, yes. I I changed the text, and it said, "Son, yes, I'll give you the patek, but don't tell mommy about last night." <laughs> <laughs> and I put that up on Facebook, and shit happened. <laughs> you know? Can I tell you something? Can I tell seriously? you something seriously? Yes, you can. You know the guy you in know that the ad. The guy in that ad. The young guy. The young guy. Yeah. I got a friend of mine who's actually homosexual. Homosexual. Well, that he's clearly gay. Yeah, that guy moment. is that actually guy. Guy is actually gay. Really? Oh my god! I can't hardly believe it. And he actually and uses, he the, actually protect uses ad the protect ad. Yeah, to get in, to his, get his, grinder in his grinder profile. <laughs> That's fun. You know, it scares me that you know what a grinder profile is, there, Paul. I, I got a lot of I, gay I got friends. a lot of gay friends. That's kind of secret. You know, that's that. I thought that was our little secret. So uh, I'll be direct messaging you tonight. <laughs> no, it's, it's no, cool. It's, it's I, I cool. love gay men. Gay men are cool. Gay men are cool. I never, I never, I never, I never, I never, What do you think about Clive getting a, getting buying a Cartier? You think it's real? Is it real? You, do you think he's, uh, well, let's assume it's real. Like, do you, do you think he's having like, you know, gender confusion? What's happening? 
It might have been cheap. It might have been cheap. It was cheap. He said he got it for a thousand dollars. He probably pried it right off of a corpse. You know, he buys he buys watches at the funeral home. He's he's got an in with the funeral director. No. No. Yeah. You know. They buy, <laughs> and right after the, right before the coffin is closed, yes. they snatch yes. A, they just snatch a watch off. I see. He I told see. you this. He told you this. A little birdie in my ear. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. But Most I got often, a, I got a, how about you had an AP? How about you had an AP? No. I, you know, you I tried really, the Porsche for, for, for fuck's sake. Yeah, it's true, but I'm not sure I deserve a Holy Trinity type watch. I need rugged. And that's why I really like Rolex because it's such a robust watch. You know, even their uh, dressy watches are built into oyster cases and, you know, they're, they're, uh, you know, with the, with the parachrome hairspring now and, they're they're fairly robustly made for shock and and water and magnetism. It's a it's a it's a watch you can beat up and then sell. So I like Rolex for that. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. It is. I just not that. Somebody's saying I should. Oh, M three A U. Mike, nice to see you. Mike says I should get a Royal Oak. Mike, we were talking about you all night because Archie's talking about having the moles removed. He's actually taking super chat money for doing it. And uh, Mike, the, the surgeon from uh, Sydney, is online in the chat room there, uh, Archie. And, uh, anyway, no, I love uh, Mike. Yeah, Mike, I love Mike. Mike is a Mike, great Mike guy. Mike is a great guy. He is a great guy. And he says I should get a Royal Oak, but I don't think I deserve a Royal Oak. I mean, actually, of what all the – What the fuck is – what's the, the Catholic, Catholic guilt? What's the Catholic guilt? But it's not Catholic guilt so much. It's more like I'm likely to bang it up, you know? I like I bang my shit a lot. And I would be really afraid to, like, you know, crack a Royal Oak on something. I want to wear watches that I don't worry about banging them up that's the thing brightling and rolling brightling stick and rolling with stick with that sucker horn is on as well hello john oh i think i saw i think i saw a sucker horn comment there somewhere i better wrap this I up, better thank, wrap you this so up. thank you so much thank you so much stop